Chad Farrington with the five. Have Griff, do you think the Series S is going to get a mid-cycle refresh? Probably. I mean, they could definitely do it. I think both consoles will eventually. They'll probably have a pro as well. The Manny team with the two. I'm ready to watch roast. I bought sushi and katoyaki. Bro, what the fuck is that? What is katoyaki? I have never heard of that in my entire life. Griffin, did you stroke to the new Little Nas X video? I didn't even watch it. Bro, Little Nas X is like irrelevant as shit. Like, I don't know why the fuck anyone's even talking about him. Like, that whole shit of him with the devil or whatever bullshit was literally just to make himself some sort of fucking relevant again. Like, after his song about riding horse cock kind of, like, fell out of popularity, he's just been desperate for anything, bro. Like, the fucking Roblox concert. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Like, that guy is desperate for fucking attention. Like, his career is DOA. He is the definition of a one-hit wonder, and his one hit was fucking hot garbage. Uh, Pothead Investor with the five figure. Did you hear about the COVID vaccine passport? I have not. What, they're going to have, like, a separate passport if you've been vaccinated or some shit? No, I haven't heard about that. Jet Black Throat with the two. Can you tell my friend Tony to stop being a... No, I can't, man. YouTube don't like that word. But I can say, Tony, stop being a bundle of sticks. No, nah, seriously, like, I legit can't fucking say it because they um flagged a couple of my videos for that shit. A few of them got age-restricted, so I'm like, yeah, I'm deleting that. Because age-restricted on YouTube is literally just a fucking timer until you get a strike. Like, I'm convinced of that shit. One man show with the five. We can't have our anime titties on PS4, but we get to see Abby get her back blown out in 4K. Thank goodness for Sony. Or wait, thank goodness for PC. That's right. But I mean, I kind of would like to see Abby getting her black or um back blown out on PC as well. But yeah, I don't get that. It's like, why the fuck does it matter if there's some animated tits on screen if you're gonna show like some chick getting her fucking back broke? And her tits are just hanging out in the open. Like, what's the fucking difference at that point? I don't know. Favorite Star Wars character? Definitely Darth Vader. Easy. Is it worth getting the Xbox headset? I have no clue, man. Like, honestly, no idea. I don't own it, so I can't say. I mean, it seems like everybody likes it, so... It sells out, like, instantly, which is really fucking weird, but... I don't know. Noah Kanatzer with the five. Night Griffin got to shoot some full autos for my birthday today, and it was worth every penny, lol. Have a great stream. Appreciate it, man. Happy birthday to you. But yeah, shooting full autos is dope. Mar the Hasman with the five. Sony gonna make us watch Abby get broken like a glow stick and give us dino furries before they give us anime titties. Big sad, I know. Dude, we can get a fucking dinosaur furry dating sim, but we can't see fucking big jiggly tits. Like, damn. We know where Sony's fucking loyalties lie. Pothead Investor with the two. The Last of Us 2 was fan fiction, in my opinion. I agree. That story was complete fucking garbage. Oh, violence is never the answer is like the fucking message. It's like, shut the fuck up. Nick Posger with the five. Are you going to watch Obi-Wan Kenobi show when it comes out? Probably not. Dude, I don't, I don't watch anything Disney Star Wars because it'll just be ruined. Like, they'll get you hooked on, like, the first couple seasons and they'll fucking ruin it. That's how it goes with Disney. Jet Black Threat with the five. My friend said he didn't like girls in the sixth grade. So does that make him unstraight? I think so. 
Probably. He's batting for the same team. Cyberpunk patch was all smoke. Dude, I'm telling you, like, motherfuckers gave me shit for saying that the updates were going to be fucking delayed. They're like, oh, no, just give them a chance. They're going to make it right. They'll update it in January and fucking March. There still hasn't been a main update to fix that fucking game. It's all, like, little minor tweaks. Like, CD Projekt Red are complete bullshit artists at this point, and I don't know why anyone fucking believes them. It's pitiful. Like, it is truly pitiful that people are still shilling for that piece of shit. <laughs> I don't fucking get it, dude. Like, if any other company had pulled the shit that they did, like, literally everyone would be jumping down their fucking throats. Like, if Bethesda had done that shit, they would never hear the fucking end of it. Because, But because they made The Witcher 3, you know, let's give them the benefit of the doubt. Okay, dude, for sure. I don't know, man. It's just some fucking sheep behavior. Peak sheep behavior. Able with the 5, do you think dropping $800 for a new 4K 120Hz TV is worth it? Or should I stick with 4K 60? I mean, it just depends, man. Honestly, if the TV has a better picture, that's what I would mainly go for. I mean, it's up to you, though. Like, if you play a lot of games that have 120 FPS support, then yeah, go for it. But otherwise... I would just focus on the picture quality, if anything. Able with the five, do you think drop? Wait, no, I read that shit. Fuck. Where's the other one? I just saw it come through on my, there it is. All right, Mar the Hasman with the five, Griffin Cyberpunk is gonna bomb. Them, shut up. They hate him because he spoke the truth. Dude, like, that's what I was saying. Like, it was sus as fuck when they kept delaying that game so many times. Like, literally every time they bragged about, oh, it's ready this time, they fucking delayed it. And, you know, we're just supposed to think, oh, yeah, everything's fine here. I don't know. It's some sheep behavior. Anthony Arebus with the 10. You think gaming is kind of dead, lol? I feel like this whole accessibility thing is trying to cater to everyone, dumbs down the quality, and also the patches is used as an excuse. Yeah, I agree patches are used to an excuse, like as an excuse to some extent, but... I don't really think the whole accessibility shit matters. Like, if you want to play a game on a higher difficulty and somebody fucking doesn't, that's fine. Now, like, if the game's like Dark Souls, I don't think they should dumb it down for anyone. You know, I get the argument behind that. But, like, somebody playing a game on, like, fucking Recruit on Call of Duty and somebody playing it on Veteran, I don't really see a problem with that. I don't know. It just depends. I feel like there's a right and a wrong way to do it, and some game developers do it well. Let's put it that way. Jesus with the 10. What's up, Griffin? Good to see you're back streaming again. Appreciate it, man. Thanks so much. Yeah, I've just been kind of busy with school and shit recently, so... I just kind of focused on that. Like, I'm just trying to get to a position where I can kind of just ride out the rest of the semester without having to do much. Like, one of my classes, I'm at a point now where I can completely fucking bomb the exam. Like, literally get a fucking 20 on it, and I'll still pass the class with, like, a B+. Plus. So that's kind of the position I like to be in. So I was just kind of focusing on that for a while. Um, Hippie Swag with the 5. The MCC needs a server browser for custom games and Forge. It would make it 100 times better in my opinion. I think they're probably going to add one eventually. Hopefully. I mean, they probably should have done it by now at this point. But yeah, I'd like to see them as well. Ahsoka with the five. Did you ever hear the tragedy of Dark Play just the wise? It's not a story the Jedi would tell you. Wait, what the fuck was that? What was the last part of that shit? It was like he was so powerful that he could save others from death, but not himself or what? I, dude, fuck, it's been forever since I've watched that. But yeah, the tragedy of Darth Play just the wise is... You know, a classic story. That guy, Ozzy, with the four. Do you think Halo Infinite is sus with the delay? No, I think they just got a bunch of backlash for the graphics. Because the way I look at Halo Infinite's delay is the game looked solid. Like, gameplay-wise, the game looked fucking fine. So, like, I would enjoy playing it right now, even if it did kind of look like shit in the textures. 
So that's kind of the difference between Cyberpunk, is every time they showed Cyberpunk, it just looked so fucking mediocre. Like, it just looked boring. But, like, Halo Infinite actually looked really cool gameplay mechanics-wise, so I think that's kind of a different story. It's just people were bitching about the um, graphics of it, so... I think that's kind of a different scenario, but no, I don't think it's necessarily a one-to-one -one comparison there. Bro, what the fuck is this guy doing? He's got like a fucking lag switch or something. Dude, I was like trying to track that motherfucker down. Ah, oh, shit. Did you see crap gamers trying to jump ships now? No, I haven't. I haven't taken... I haven't really looked at YouTube, to be honest, recently. I have not taken a look. Anders Pack with the SDK50. Have you seen Darkseid to Flow Mobile's ADSB song? It's a... It's for King Brilliant? No, I haven't seen that. I'll look it up, though. I do like the parody song from DSB and Wings. That shit's usually fire. Okay, I actually did pretty decent that round, even for reading. Dude is playing Halo on Walmart Wi-Fi. Dude, I don't even think that's Walmart. He's, like, sitting in a fucking booth at McDonald's. <laughs> like, for real. Like, what are those fucking, like, fold-up screens called? Like, you bought them at GameStop. They used to have them everywhere. And, like, you put the console in the bottom, and you, like, open the top, and there's, like, a fucking TV. He's probably got one of those with, like, the, like, McDonald's Wi-Fi going. Like, just eating a fucking double quarter pounder or some shit. Infinite Tony with the five. Yo, me and my friend Jet Black Threat encourage you to watch... The Forbidden Krusty Krab video. It's called Secret Formula. I think I've seen that before. That sounds familiar. I'm pretty sure I've seen that. Have you seen Little Nas X grinding on Satan? No. Dude, fucking um, Little Nas X is irrelevant. I don't know. Like, ever since he made the horse cock song, like, he's fallen the fuck off. This is like some desperate attempt to get relevant again. Discord link? It should be in the description, but let me see if this will work. Probably not. Bro, what the fuck? I, like, literally... Hold up. Let me black out my screen real quick. I'm gonna try to open this. Stream deck. Hopefully this won't fucking, like, dox me here. I don't know why this shit doesn't work. Like, I literally have all of this set up. Let me see if this works. Alright, that one works. That's good to know. But yeah, I like was trying to fuck around with this a little bit, but I can't get it to work. Like I have all these like chat I don't fucking know what you call them. Like chat shortcuts that have the links, but they don't work. Everything else works. Like the, I think it's just YouTube. I think they're just really shitty. Like this one works. You're the best big brother I could have ever asked for. Like you guys can hear that, right? That came through. I don't think it was very loud. I'll probably have to adjust the volume on that. But you should have been able to fucking hear something. Yeah, that was creepy. What was creepy about it, man? It's beautiful. It's two siblings that love each other. I think that's beautiful, man. <clears throat> Needs to be loud? Yeah. I get to adjust the volume on it. Juavi? 2312 with the two? You planning on playing Monster Hunter Rise or not? Nah? Yeah, eventually I'll get to it. I haven't opened up the Switch yet. I have two of my three, so 
eventually once I get my third one and I can inspect the boxes and see which one I want to send in to get graded, I'll decide which one I'm going to open up. I can't afford this shit! Oh shit, let me pull up my other chat. I can't afford this shit! So, Jet Black Threat with the two, what's your uh, favorite off-brand anime? Like, what do you mean off-brand anime? I have no fucking clue what that means. Please don't pli private the stream. Nah, dude, they all get privated. Actually, they all get deleted. Like, just straight up. I don't even private it. I just nuke this shit off the face of the earth. Anthony Arribas with the five. Anyone talking smack about you lately, lol? And is Monster Hunter good? I from haven't seen anybody recently, and Monster Hunter, from what I've heard, it's really good, but I haven't played it myself. I gotta get to it eventually. Oski Waski with the two. Where do you send them to get graded? VGA. Pretty sure VGA will grade consoles. So I'm gonna get the console graded, and I'm just like gonna fucking leave it for like 20 years and see what it's fucking worth. I don't know. If you drop soap in water, is the water cleaning the soap? Or is the soap <laughs> cleaning the water? Well, I think it dirties the water, right? Because anything in water is, like, unpure. So the soap would be dirtying the water. I don't know. It's kind of a tough question. Dude, how did no one grab this shit? What the fuck? Oh shit. That was a fucking fat L. Off brand equals hentai. Um shit. I was hoping to fucking point blank that motherfucker, but unfortunate. Didn't go as planned. I don't honestly know what like my favorite hentai is, to be honest. Not really that big of a consumer of hentais to know their names, but I'm trying to think. There was like one I mentioned before, but I can't remember the name of it. So that guy, Ozzy with the seven, have you seen the trailer and gameplay for Death's Door? Looks really interesting and cool. I have not. I haven't heard of that actually. Like what's it on? Just like everything? Villa Lago with the five. My man Griff, excited for Godzilla versus Kong. Are you team Godzilla or Kong? I'm definitely going with Godzilla, to be honest, but I think it's going to turn into one of those buddy fight movies where it's like, oh, Godzilla and King Kong have to team up to fight the bigger monster or some bullshit like that. I can see that happening. That's how, like, all those versus movies end. I don't know, but I'm going to probably go Godzilla. Like, Godzilla's like a fucking walking nuke, and King Kong's just a big monkey. So just for, like, design of the character itself, I think Godzilla's better. When does that movie even come out? I know it comes out on HBO, so I probably will end up watching it, but... Ace of Spades with the two. The hentai you said was called Arage. I got you. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, that one. We'll go with that. That's one that's stuck in my mind. Next week, the 31st. All right, cool. Yeah, I'll check it out when it comes out. 
So wait, no, it comes out this week. The 31st is a Wednesday. So yeah, Wednesday. Yeah, I'll watch it. I have HBO, so. Yeah, I watched the Snyder Cut. I thought it was good. Way better than fucking Avengers, that's for sure. But the 4 by 3 aspect ratio was fucking gay. Like, that shit was so fucking stupid. Like, it's 2021. I don't want to have a throwback to 2003. Having to watch that in 4x3, like, kind of ruined it almost. Marvel movies overrated? Yeah, I'm not a fan at all. I think they're really boring. Like, it's the same fucking jokes over and over again. It's the same predictable plot. It's the same corny fucking, like, plot twists. I don't know. It's so predictable when you watch a Marvel movie, what's gonna happen? It's just not really anything that great. Nick Paul's Girl with the Two. Have you seen Eric Andre show? It's the funniest? No, I haven't. The name sounds familiar, but I haven't seen it. I can't afford this Marvel movies or Disney PG-13? Yeah, dude. Marvel movies are just fucking corny. Like, they are definitely made for literal 12-year-olds. Or dudes who still live with their parents in, like, age 30. <laughs> like, that's the target audience. By far. So, Plant Lord with the two, we need another Watchmen by Snyder. Dude, I like Zack Snyder's movies. I think they're good. Like, I liked Man of Steel. Then I think he made 300 as well. That was a pretty good movie. So, I don't know. I like that they're more, like, mature. They're not just, like, fucking corny. We're cracking jokes 24 fucking 7, even though the planet's about to explode. But, you know, let me just pop off one-liners so it doesn't feel like it's any sort of important task. I don't know, Marvel movies are just way too corny. Like, any sense of urgency or severity or any, like, serious themes in those movies is just, like, completely thrown out the fucking window when you have dudes just cracking jokes 24-7. I don't know. Think Batman will be decent? No. Aren't they getting the fucker from Twilight to do that shit? No. Nah. That's going to be Garbo. Yeah, the best Marvel movies are not made by Disney. They were made by Fox. Like Iron Man 1 and 2. Those are still two of my favorite like Marvel movies, if not my favorite. Never touched by Disney, so... The Discord link in the description works. I tried Patron Silver on Friday. Awesome, man. Did you like it or nah? Yeah, the other night, well, actually last night, right? Yeah, last night, I spent, <laughs> I, I didn't like tallied up everything I bought. I spent, I think $2,300 on new cards. So yeah, I'm pretty hyped. Maybe I'll do like a stream showcase of that. Like I'll plug in my camera or whatever again and hook that up and I'll show you guys some of the shit I got. Like I got some really cool stuff. Like really fucking nice stuff. So yeah, don't go by the video one. I got to update that eventually. I mean, the thing I kind of like about not having it available all the time is it reduces the raids. Like, people just, like, don't fucking figure out, like, oh, dude, this Discord link is literally <laughs> just slash Griffin, but, yeah. Kermit's channel with the five. Hey, man, Robert from Twilight ain't a bad actor. Watch his most recent work. He's damn good. 
He even hated being on Twilight. Give him a chance. What has he been in recently? I haven't seen any movies with him in it recently. I mean, maybe he could be good. I'm just saying, he doesn't look like he'd fit the part. Like, Christian Bale literally was made for that fucking part. I just, like, I don't know. Ever since seeing The Dark Knight, I just cannot picture anyone else as Batman. Like, he just did such a fucking great job on it. I don't know. Which may not be fair, but, you know, it's just the way it is. Oh, fuck. How did I miss that? Shit. Indie movies? I don't watch indie movies, so, yeah. I got a Mia Malkova flashlight. How is it, bro? Was it worth it or not? Nah? I've been curious about that. I just don't know if I want to fucking take that plunge, dude. Like, I just feel like a complete degenerate. Having a fucking pocket pussy in my apartment. I don't know. He was in Tenet? I never saw Tenet, so... That's probably why. Soviet Union? With the five? Bro, I missed you, man. You good? School got you busy? Yeah. I said a bunch of shit with, like, school. Like, I'm in the stage right now in my semester where it's just a fuck ton of projects. And that's kind of the end of the semester. But, yeah, this... At the end of Jan... Or not... Dude, what the fuck is wrong with me? Uh, at the end of April, I will basically be done. At that point, I'll have, like, two midterms to take. And that's it. I'll have one class over the summer. And I'm fucking out of here. Which is pretty fucking fire. Then it's off to work. So, let me see. That guy, Ozzy with the four. What do you think of Microsoft maybe buying Discord? I think it's a smart decision, personally, but... Like, people are saying they're going to ruin it. I don't think they're going to fuck with it too much. I think they're just buying it for the tech for teams. I think they're going to, like, use Discord's kind of, like, existing... That's the direction they're going to take it. No, dude, it's like midterms because um, my classes are like 1.5 credit hours. So they're technically considered midterms because they're like half the term. I don't know. It's weird the way my school fucking calls it. Because they're not during finals week. They're during the actual school year. Pothead Investor 2 <laughs> with the 5? Bro, did you make an ult or some shit? Do you think the jokes work for Guardians of the Galaxy? I think so, because that's like a different type of movie. But it's like, even then, they don't like... So Guardians of the Galaxy, like I would say, actually knows when to be serious. But like a movie, like... I'm trying to think of which one. Like, I don't really watch many Marvel movies. So maybe I can't remember off the top of my head. But one of them I watched... It was just so fucking cringe. Like, it was supposed to be, like, a super... ...thing. And the motherfuckers are just cracking jokes the entire time. It's like, well, okay. Any investment I had in this being a big deal has been just thrown out the fucking window. Because even these motherfuckers on screen can't take it seriously. Alright, where's this fuck? Aw, oh, shit, dude. That was a fucking L. You generation with the hundred? What the fuck, dude? Finally back. <laughs> Jesus, bro. Appreciate it. But yeah, I am back. Back and better than ever, dude. Really appreciate that, though. Thanks so much. No, I never saw Thor Ragnarok, so I have no idea about that one. The Dark World was really boring. Yeah, I didn't like that one. I'm pretty sure I watched that. Pothead Investor 2 with the 2? My channel just stopped working? That's weird as fuck. Damn. That's odd. Do 
you think the Mandalorian looks good or bad? I've never watched it, so honestly, I have no idea. You like Kanye West? Yeah, I like Kanye. Yeah, I honestly don't know why Sony got rid of the PS3 store. It probably cost them absolutely nothing to keep it running. And it's just like... It's just a slap in the face to their fans, in all honesty. That's all it really is. Audio Gamer 304 with the two. Thoughts on Venom and Morbius? I have no fucking clue what Morbius is. And Venom, I never watched it, so... I don't... Like, in all honesty. Haven't seen either of them. Villa Lago with the two. Will you do a Pokemon card opening video? I may. I haven't really been buying packs recently, though. The only packs I bought were Battle Styles, which I don't really think is that exciting to open because there's not really very many like super like cool cards you get from it. But maybe, yeah. I don't know. Like the thing with pack openings is they're really boring for like the majority of the time because most packs don't have shit in them. And even if you do get something, it's not really that great. I don't know. Like, if there's, like, a really cool set that comes out, then possibly, but otherwise, I'm not sure. I've mainly just been buying, um, the individual cards. Like, if I do pack openings, like, this would be the thing. If I were to do one, it'd be, like, a two-hour long video, because when I buy packs, I buy, like, a fuck ton. So, like, for instance, when I opened up Battle Styles the other day, I opened up four booster boxes. So, that's, like, what? 108. 144 packs. So, yeah, it's a lot of packs. And that's a lot of time to sit through. Because I don't do the card... Well, I mean, it would be pretty quick. Because I don't do, like, the card trick bullshit where it's like, Okay, guys, two from the front... So, or two from the back so I can fucking draw out this YouTube video. I just, like, fucking fan them out and look and see if there's anything good or not. And if not, I just fucking throw them. <laughs> like, I don't do that bullshit where it's like, oh, let's look at the fucking Caterpie art, bro. Like, it looks so beautiful, dude. I didn't get fucking shit. But, you know, I spent 18 minutes opening these four fucking packs. I don't know. What's my net worth? Probably not much. I don't own many assets. Unless you want to count Pokemon cards as assets. Because net worth doesn't include cash or, like, money in the bank. It's all assets that you own. Dude, I fucking hate Pokemon shit. <laughs> like, I just cannot watch that shit. These motherfuckers are like, oh my god, dude. Look at these fucking hollows. It's like, shut up, dude. You got fucking dog shit. Quit trying to act like you got some good shit, dude. It's like, just fucking admit it. You got fucking hosed. You got bent over the fucking chair and got railed. Wouldn't cash be an asset? No, it doesn't count. If you own stocks, if you own land, if you own shares in a company, which is kind of like stocks, if you own cars, jewelry, precious metals, gems, I guess collectibles would fall into that category, so yeah. I would say probably my net worth, considering that, with the Pokemon cards especially taking up a big portion. I would say probably around 200k would be my net worth-ish. I don't know. But that's not cash, so. It's not like I can just go, alright dude, I got 200k, I'm gonna fucking spend it right now. It's like, no, I'd have to liquidate all of my assets. So, I'm one of those people that's kind of like, I'd say I'm cash poor, but asset rich. Like, I don't really keep a lot of money in my bank account. 
I buy a bunch of shit. Like, I invested in stocks. I buy, like, the Pokemon cards and shit like that, so... I would say that's probably my net worth. I don't know. Like, if you want to count the collectibles or, or not. Like, stocks-wise, I'd say it's over 100,000 easy. So, Pothead Investor 2 with the 5. Walmart has hidden fates in stock now. Just buy $500 worth? Wait, they have hidden fates in stock right now? I'm checking this. Or is it Shining Fates? Hold up. If they do, I'm gonna buy a fuck ton. Um, no, I don't see it. Is it in store? No, nah, everything's sold out on their site. It's expensive as shit. Plant Lord with the two, you think coin miners and scalpers ruin PC gaming? No. Nah. If anything, it'll just make it even more um, prominent. They'll manufacture more GPUs, and once the um, coin mining phase kind of dies, everybody's going to just be like, well, I already got this gaming PC, so fuck it. I'll just play on it. I don't know. And then also the secondhand GPU market will have really affordable pricing as well. So I don't know. It, like, it's just a cyclical thing at the moment. There's just a lot of demand, low supply. Eventually it'll even out. No company is going to look at what's going on right now and say, yeah, let's produce the same amount that we've been producing the entire time. They're going to only look at it one way. Well, we have a shit ton of demand, so let's increase supply so we can make more money. Because right now they're not realizing any of the benefits of the demand because it's all like being taken place on the secondhand market. So like they could be selling their GPUs for two grand instead of like 800 bucks, but they're not doing it. So they benefit nothing from high resale prices. So there is no incentive for them to keep demand overwhelmingly higher than supply. thoughts on the state of California I want to visit but I don't ever want to live there I guess that's kind of clear enough I hate the fact that I can't get a single 3070 yeah the only way you can get them is if you buy a pre-built like that's it pre-built PCs are now the most affordable option in PC gaming like you can literally get pre-builts with like a 3080 <laughs> for cheaper than a fucking resell one. So it's like crazy. But that's just the way it is right now. People are really desperate to make that $5 a day on fucking Bitcoin. <laughs> it's like pitiful. I don't know. Like $5 a day, dude. It just doesn't seem worth it to spend three grand on a fucking GPU. I do not get it, but... You know? You can make so much money doing so much else. Oh yeah, the coin miners are moving on to pre-builds now. Definitely. Oh, fuck me, dude. That was an L. So, let me see where I am. So, Chris Cronus with the five. Hold on, let me see if I can kill this guy. Yeah, we're good. Do you think there will be a Halo Infinite Collector's Edition with a wearable helmet? I don't think so. I think they're going to keep that like a Halo 3 thing, but maybe. I don't know. It'd be kind of cool if they did. I definitely think that's much better than like a shitty statue or something. Like, statues, I'm not really big on. I don't really buy them. Like, I used to be that type of dude that was like, Oh, dude, this fucking game collector's edition looks fucking dope, bro. I need the statue. But now it's like I have a ton of them, and I don't fucking even have anywhere to put them. I 
So I would be more inclined to probably buy the helmet than the actual like statue. So I would like to see it personally. So Oski Woski with the five, I have four Skyla cards, two uh, 2016s and two 2020 cards. One is Japanese, should I send them in separately to PSA for 150? Don't send them in 150 each, no. That's a complete fucking ripoff. You'll make no money on that whatsoever. What you should do is send them in like bulk or whatever at the $20 pricing tier. Send in all four of them at once. It'll be like $80 total, but that's probably the way I'd do it. The Manny team with the two. Hey Griffin, do you use your 3DS to play old Pokemon? No, I don't. My 3DS I don't really use anymore. I just don't really like hunching over that thing. Like it's really uncomfortable to hold. The screen's really small. I mean, I'd probably emulate before I use that. eBay the best website to resell Pokemon? Definitely. Yeah. Definitely, bro. I would definitely say so. Like, StockX is trying, but the problem is you can't even fucking look at the cards you're buying. So it's like, why the fuck am I going to buy on there? Like, that's the thing, is, like, when you're buying Pokemon cards, the only reason you're buying them is to fucking look at them. So why would I buy a fucking Pokemon card that I can't even look at before I buy it to know what it looks like? I don't, like, that's the thing with StockX I don't fucking get. They don't have pictures of each one. But I got these really fucking beautiful cards. Here, if you guys are in Discord, I'll post it in general real quick. I'll post the picture. Dude, these cards are fucking beautiful. Hold up. Take a look. If you're in Discord right now, go look. It would be well worth. Like, these things are fucking fire. I got, like, uh, Zapdos, Moltres, and Articuno, like, tr um... I don't even know what the fuck you call it. Like the trio. But the Moltres was like, I think 500 bucks. No, not Moltres. Articuno was 500. And Moltres and Zapdos were 300 a piece. But these are like top tier, like quality cards. I don't know. I, I really like them. What is your most valuable Pokemon card shit. you have? I would say probably my Ancient Mew one Japanese corrected version that's worth anywhere from a thousand to two thousand to three thousand it just depends on what somebody wants to pay they're really rare Brandon Yates with the two did you get banned from Twitch last year no I didn't I just moved over to YouTube Griffin's catchphrase is fire bro what is my fucking catchphrase Cody P with the five, would you rather invest in a REIT with a $9 to 12% yearly return and risk it all or put it in a 1% to 3% high yield savings account and keep it safe? I mean, bro, you don't even have to do that. Just stick it in a fucking tobacco company. Like, look at... BTI... Or look at Altria. Both are insanely profitable companies. They have like a 30% profit margin. Meaning for every $1 they earn in revenue, they keep 30 cents of that. Which is like unheard of for a company that size. And on top of it, they pay like an 8 to 10% dividend depending on what price you buy it at. Stick it in that. That's like almost risk-free. People are never going to fucking stop smoking. And even if they do, the company makes so much fucking money that it won't matter. You're basically good. That's the way I would look at it. Like, of course, the price can go down, but... You know, it's like alcohol, bro. <laughs> Even during, like, fucking financial recessions, everybody's still drinking. So, you don't even have to do that. Just, like, look into those type of stocks. Like, they call them the sin stocks, which, you know, whatever. 
But yeah, Altria, BTI, I'm trying to think of the other one. Philip Morris is a really good one. I mean, even if you want to do oil, like Exxon's pretty solid. I mean, they have a really low debt to equity ratio, so. But yeah, don't like, I mean, that's the thing is like, there's a shit ton of options. So if you're looking for that 10 to 12% return, like tobacco stocks can give you that. I bought a fuck ton of BTI stock back when the whole COVID shit started for around 30 bucks. And I've made a shit ton off of that. I think the dividend yield at the time was 12%. So it did very well. So let me see. Britain Venom or Britain Vernon? Is it Venom or Vernon? Shit. Vernon. Okay, shit. It looked like an M from here. Vernon with the two. What is your Discord and how's it going? Pretty good, man. But uh, Discord's in the description. Just uh, copy that link and like paste it and we'll open it up. Kermit's channel with the five. What do you think of Jared Leto's Joker in the Snyder Cut? I don't really care, to be honest. Like, it's... <laughs> let's put it this way. I like it better than the Joker from the movie Joker. Let's just... Let's leave it at that. Pothead Investor with the two. Not sure why, but Walmart says they're in stock. Interesting. Yeah, the only ones I saw were from third-party sellers, and they were selling them for, like, triple the price. So... Britain Vernon with the two. I am Fun Games. Okay. Yep, I know who you are. Just using a different account. Gotcha, man. Z Carter with the five. What's up, gamers? That's right, man. We put the gay in gamers for sure. But yeah, as far as investment strategies, there's a lot of shit you can get into. But yeah, I'd rather stick it in like a tobacco stock or something. Or like railroads, Coca-Cola. Dude, like shit that doesn't go down. Like Coke, let's face it, <laughs> is probably going to be around. Companies like Johnson & Johnson are probably going to be around. Companies like fucking Walmart are probably going to be around. Companies like Microsoft are probably going to be around. But that's not a very high dividend stock, so it's not a great return. But yeah, don't put your money in a savings account. Putting your money in a savings account is literally asking to, like, lose money from inflation. Like, I used to have a savings account with, like, 40 grand in it because this is before I opened my investment account. And, like, I maybe earned, like, three or four dollars in interest a year. Like, it was some fucking pitiful number. Like, just fucking pitiful, dude. And it's just like, you can make so much more money just sticking it in a treasury fund. And that's basically risk-free. Turn down the music? Yeah. I don't know why it got loud all of a sudden. But yeah, I turned it down. Inflation's about to get real bad, yeah. I mean, literally, savings accounts are so fucking bad when it comes to interest, you're almost better off just keeping your money out in fucking cash because you don't have the risk of the bank shutting down and you not be able to get your money out. Like, that's kind of how just pitiful it is. There's almost no incentive to have your money in a savings account. Like, even certificates of deposit aren't that great either. Did you see Jake Paul get ripped off two million for a fake illustrator card? Really? Jake Paul got ripped off $2 million for an Illustrator card? No, I didn't hear about this. 
That's <laughs> fucking retarded. He's gonna sue the shit out of whoever sold it to him, though. So they better lawyer up. Because that's a fraudulent transaction. T Carter with a five. What if all the third or 3000 series cards was on that boat? Wait, what do you mean? What boat? The fuck? Oh, you mean the one in the fucking Suez Canal? I mean, it could be, man. Could be. I had to think about that for a second. I'm like, fucking boat. And then I remember, yeah. It's like the thing in the news, the Suez Canal. Yeah, like, if you're not using a credit card that gives you cash back, then you're just playing yourself. Like, you literally get free money just for spending it. Like, literally, I get 3% um, cash back on everything I buy for doing absolutely fucking nothing. Just for spending my own money, I get paid. It's great. Like, if you're not using a credit card that gives you cash back, you are doing something wrong. Like, I literally use my credit card for everything because I get money back for doing nothing. Like, I'll make, like, an extra, like, couple hundred dollars a month just spending normally, and it's like... Why the fuck wouldn't I do this? I don't know. Samuel Jonathan with the two. Which is better, Fallout or Elder Scrolls? I'm gonna go Elder Scrolls. I'm not really the biggest Fallout guy. Like, I like Fallout 4, but that's about it. But I have yet to play an Elder Scrolls that I've disliked. So, even Elder Scrolls Online I like to an extent, so... I would definitely go with that. You got to pay it back, though? No, you don't have to. Dude, as long as you can make your payment on your credit card, you don't have to pay them shit. Like, literally, as long as you have enough money to, like, pay off what you spent during the previous month, you're fine. Like, you'll never pay interest or anything. You literally get free money for using the credit card. It's great. <laughs> like it's absolutely fucking great because then when you spend the money that you get from the cash back and this is where it gets really fucking cool so like if you spend let's say a thousand bucks all right just for the fun of it if you spend ten thousand bucks you get your three percent back you get the thirty dollars then when you spend the thirty dollars you get three percent cash back on that as well so it's like it never fucking ends. You keep making money off the free money that you got and spent. So it's like, I don't know. It's really cool if you think about it that way. Podhead Investor with the t t or with the five. There's a video of Logan Paul with the fake card. Please watch. Is it the one where he punches the window? I'm pretty sure that was like um supposed to be fake. And he had to go to, like, the hospital or some shit because he, like, cut his hand. But, yeah, I know what you're talking about. See, when they said Jake, I was like, oh. Because I know about the Logan one, yeah. He, like, punched a hole in his window. And it, like, fucking slit his entire hand open. And he had to go to the hospital. <laughs> like. <laughs> that shit was so fucking. I don't know, man. Like, personally, I'm just going to throw it out there. I actually kind of like Logan Paul. I think he's funny as fuck. Like, the dude just does not give a shit. And I really can appreciate that. Like, he just does not fucking care. And I kind of have to respect that. Oh, dude, this guy's, like, fucking sneaking around like a little pussy. Manny team with the two, Logan versus KSI. I don't watch KSI, so I know nothing about him. I like Logan better, just by default, I guess. I don't know.
Like, I've never, like, actually watched a KSI video in my entire life. <laughs> like, not even a joke. I have literally never watched that shit. Like, the whole... The, when I first heard about him, he made FIFA content, which... I don't fucking care about FIFA, so I never even, like, bothered to click on his channel. But, yeah, no. Not really my type of content. Doesn't he just do Reddit shit now? Like, he's a Reddit channel? Like, everybody's turning into a fucking... Reddit channel, it seems like. Agreed, Logan is mature now, too. The thing is, I feel like Logan has always been mature, though. Like, that's the thing, is, like, the dude obviously doesn't fucking act like he does in his videos 24-7. That's kind of a given, you know, but I don't really like Jake Paul, but I don't like I've never minded Logan. I thought the whole Suicide Forest shit was way over fucking blown. Like people were just looking for a reason to hate. You know, the news can show dead bodies all fucking day. No one gives a shit. But the one time some dude films it on fucking YouTube. Oh, my God, dude. Stop the fucking presses. Holy shit. This shouldn't be allowed, dude. Ban him from the fucking Internet. I don't know. That's not really keeping the same energy, if you ask me. And then he started doing the Pokemon shit, and I was like, okay, that's pretty fucking fire. So, yeah. I don't know. I've never had a problem with Logan. Like, you can tell that he's very self-aware. He knows exactly what he's doing. Mexican TV news actually shows dead bodies, but they censor farts on comedy shows. Really? What the fuck? Yeah, that's the thing is like, I'll turn on the fucking news and I'll see like a film crew walking through a fucking pile of dead bodies in Syria. But the one dude, the one time a dude shows a fucking guy dead hanging from a tree with like no gore whatsoever and they blur his fucking face. It's like, oh my God. Oh my God. It's like, dude, I saw fucking ISIS burning videos on the fucking news. <laughs> like, this isn't even the same shit. Like, they used to show the videos of people, like, getting burned in a fucking cage by ISIS on, like, CNN and shit. And, like, we're gonna freak out that some dude blurred a guy hanging from a tree? Like, I, I just don't fucking get it. I, like, that just doesn't really, like, phase me. It's like, oh, my God, do we got to fucking cancel him right now? The main problem was his audience is mostly children. Well, that's everyone on the fucking internet you can make the claim. I don't, I don't see that as a valid excuse. Like, if that's a problem, then parents should, you know, monitor what their kids watch. I don't know. At that point, it's like, well, you know, kids can watch porn, so let's ban porn. See, it kind of, like, it goes down that fucking path. So I don't really hold him responsible for that. Parents should be watching what their kids watch. And it's not like he's uploading content to YouTube kids. So and that's the other thing. I don't know. Like, that's the thing is like, well, kids probably watch the shit on fucking CNN of the dude getting burned alive in a cage. That was on, like, fucking daytime television. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, like, I just... I don't really see the problem with it. I would have filmed it, too, bro. Like, honestly. Like, you... Like, the fucking irony of that entire situation. He's literally walking through the fucking suicide forest. And it just so happens... The day he shows up in the exact fucking area... There's a motherfucker <laughs> swinging from a tree... You're telling me you would not have the fucking instinct to be like, holy shit, dude. Like, I would literally film that first reaction. It wouldn't even be like a thought. My first fucking response would be, I'm pulling out my phone. I don't know. That's just kind of the way I always looked at it. It's like, no shit, I'd record that. I don't know. 
Cody P with a two, Ford, Chevy, or Dodge. That's pretty tough. I'd probably go with Ford overall. I like the Raptor. Those are pretty cool. He had no business going, though. Dude, the Suicide Forest is a massive tourist attraction. That's a massive tourist attraction. Everybody who goes to Japan typically goes to that shit. It's like visiting the Grand Canyon or some shit, bro. It's like one of those things that everybody wants to do when they go to Japan. Uh, Mar the Hasman with the five. That shit's weak. Homies used to get clapped back at home and it was just whatever. Just another poor bastard who wasn't lucky. People and news just soft. Yeah, I agree. But it's like even then the news shows were shit uncensored like bro you're telling me the kids are gonna get more traumatized by seeing a blurred dead body hanging from a rope versus a dude getting burned alive in a fucking cage like i think that's the probably the bigger issue but i don't know it's just it's really amazing just because it's on youtube though big fucking problem i don't know I just kind of can't help but notice the hypocrisy. Two Tim 505. Oh, with the five. PSP, PS Vita, and PS3 stores are getting shut down. Watch Hikikomori Media for more info. Yeah. I mean, they shut it down, which is stupid, but, you know, Sony be like that. Pothead Investor with the two. A lot of the ISIS videos are still on. Exactly, bro. Exactly. You can watch fucking ISIS beheading videos on YouTube, but a fucking... <laughs> the Logan Paul Suicide Forest video was just a one step too far. It's like, okay. You know, we see how it is. Trey X Cooper with the five. Did you see a clip of the streamer who let out a massive queef on stream to show how she can queef on command? She got banned for th three days for it. Watch it. I'll probably watch it off stream. I don't want to get banned for three days. <laughs> like, fuck. Figgy Swift with the two. Do you vape or smoke? Vape, bro. But I also wear vape. So either or. RDX and the with the 279. Check out the House Hippo commercial for Canada. I haven't heard of that. What the fuck is House Hippo? Yeah, it was just a... That's what I mean. I, I don't know. I just can't get pissed off over that. The whole Logan Paul drama was really overblown in my opinion. And I think most people would probably agree off the fucking internet. Like, if you asked a normal human being on the fucking street, like, oh, dude, do you think this guy should be fucking banned from everything because he showed a dead body? And they'd probably be like, no, who gives a shit? But, you know, the people on, like, YouTube and Twitter are really fucking sensitive. You know, what was it they were trying to get somebody banned off for for saying retard? That's what I mean. It's just soft. I don't know any kids who go, oh boy, I want to watch CNN, bro. It's on TV. Like, if your parents have it on, like the house TV, they're going to fucking see it. If they're in, like, a fucking restaurant and it's on the TV, they're going to see it. Like, of course, no kid turns on the fucking news, but they're exposed to it almost all the time. Like, my school, for instance, had the fucking news on every single morning in the front lobby of the school. So, it's like... You can't really get away from the news, even if you want to. It's everywhere you look. Try Scooper with the two. You'll be fine. Just watch Tipster's video on a little. I mean, I'll look at it after the stream. I mean, that's stuff somebody can look up on their own. DJ Aftershock with a two. Lucas City got spider undies on IG. What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't know, man. 
<laughs> That's a fucking L. How the fuck are you going to walk around in Spider-Man underwear and be like a self-respecting male? Jesus. Mar the Hasman with the five. Fuck. 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 I wasn't looking. Shit. Uh, getting mad at Logan for the forest thing is like playing Call of Duty and getting mad. Someone said the gamer word and we all know 99% of COD players say it. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, is I just hate the hypocrisy because I feel like so many other YouTubers in that position would have at least recorded it or gone up to the bot. I don't, I don't know, man. I just, I feel like a lot of people, if they were in the same situation, would have a very different reaction if it happened to them and they were in the position where they could upload something that fucking crazy to the internet. Because, I mean, it is fucking crazy. It's like, dude, the day he goes to the fucking forest that's known for this one specific thing in the exact area he goes to, he just happens to fucking see it? Like, that shit's wild. I don't know. That's something I'd want to, like... That's something I'd want to share. I don't know. Like, maybe that makes me fucked up, but I don't really give a shit, dude. It's funny. <laughs> I, can't afford this I don't know. Like, I, this shit doesn't, like, go, oh, my God, dude. How fucking awful. Don't tell anyone, but Young Defiant isn't actually young. Damn, is he a fucking boomer? 210505 with a 5. In Japan, you can go to jail for going off the path in the forest. So he shouldn't have gone off the path. That's fucking retarded. That is probably one of the dumbest laws I think I've heard in my entire life. If you walk off the path in a forest, you can go to prison. That is fucking stupid. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> yeah, that's a stupid law. I don't think he should have gone to prison. That is actually dumb. What is he going to do? Touch a fucking tree? Like, damn. Pothead investor with a two? Can you imagine if Filthy Frank found the bot? Dude, exactly! If Filthy Frank found the fucking body, that would have been a YouTube video 100%. Guaranteed. If he found that shit back in, like, 2015, there would have been a whole fucking 20-minute video on that shit. Yeah, you know, here's this nature trail, but don't fucking walk into the nature. Just stay on the fucking path. I don't know what these guys are doing, but whatever. Time to get my KD up. I don't know what these motherfuckers are doing, but I'm just going to take the kills. Yeah, I know I'm the only one left. It's whatever. Like I said, I'm just going to get my KD up, man. Gotta go for my stats, man. I'm gonna go for headshots. What videos, though? There's, like, nothing to watch.
So let me see, where am I? Pothead investor with a two? Do you believe in ghosts, Griffin? No, I don't. I do not believe in ghosts. I feel like if ghosts were real, somebody would actually have like them on video. Not just like, oh dude, ghosts are real. Quad feed, bro, hell yeah. Oh damn, dude, he fucking killed me. What the fuck, man? <laughs> How many kills do I have? 30? Hell yeah, man. I dropped a 30 bomb in Halo, boys. I'm fucking pro. Genesect King revived with the two. The panty raid episode of SpongeBob was pulled? Really? That's stupid. What, does that because that would make SpongeBob not gay or whatever? <laughs> That's probably the reason. Because didn't they, like, do a retcon on Spongebob and say he was gay the entire time? They pulled, like, a fucking J.K. Rowling on this shit. I can't afford this shit! Mar the has been with the two. Almost forgot to ask. Are you winning, son? Nah, man. I'm getting my ass beat. So let's see. T. Carter with the five aren't dead bodies in movies, too, and school shootings on YouTube? Yeah. Exactly. I don't know, man. It's just, it's stupid if you ask me. Faux outrage. Gustavo Bravo with the five. Hey, California weather already 80 degrees. Plus weather not even... April yet, and thanks for the content. No problem, man. I don't know. I'd much rather have 80 degree weather than like fucking 50 to 60 degrees, which is what I'm stuck with now, so. I don't know. I'll take warm weather over cold any day of the week. Like, I fucking hate the cold. Warm weather is much better. Facts. Dude, I fucking hate cold weather. <laughs> like, fuck the cold. Randy Butternubs with the 20? Thanks so much, dude. Suicide Forest has signs around it saying not to off yourself. The cops there won't necessarily look you up, but they'll try to find... Or they'll try to move you back on path. Your phone and GPS don't work for shit deep in the woods. Really? Interesting. I don't know. If I ever go to Japan, I'd definitely go to that. I mean, like, fuck it, dude. Like, that'd be sick as shit. You, like, go into the suicide forest and you see some other... <laughs> I don't... That shit just... That shit sounds funny as shit to me. I don't know. I'd have to do it. Like, just imagine. Mad Dog with a 229. Appreciate it, bro. Thanks so much. I can't stand the heat? Damn. Dude, I love hot weather. I would much rather be hot and sweaty than, like, freezing. I fucking hate the cold. Like, I'll take shorts over having to wear, like, two layers any day. Like, fuck that. Like, wearing shorts and, like, a t-shirt? Fire. Having to wear, like, a hoodie and a jacket over top? Fuck no. Gotta keep the wrist, dude. That video is fucking hilarious. I don't, dude. That, like Logan Paul's humor in that shit was so fucking cringe that it was funny. I don't know. I appreciate cringe humor. Pothead investor with the two take mushrooms then go in the forest, dude. I'm not trying to get fucked up. Aren't like drugs like super fucking illegal in Japan though? Like you go to fucking prison for like ten years if they catch you with fucking weed. Like that shit's not a fucking joke over there. Like, they do not fuck around with drugs in Japan. Same with China. 
Like, they'll straight up fucking take your house away and shit. <laughs> like, it is no joke over there at all. The Asian countries do not fuck with drugs. At all. I think South Korea is the same way. Like, they don't fuck around with that shit at all, dude. So, 210505 with a 5. Seth MacFarlane is pathetic. Said he won't do gay jokes. Dude, Seth MacFarlane has never been funny. Like, apparently he had a fucking ghostwriter for Family Guy for the first couple seasons, which is why it was good. But yeah, that dude's a political hack. Like, he took some of the most successful fucking, like comedy shows and just made them really fucking bad like he completely ruined that shit like family guy season one through three were really good and then they got really fucking political after that and it just got really cringe and then they were like oh well, we can't make fun of this group anymore meanwhile south park just does not give a fuck and it's actually entertaining to watch i wonder why Edward Tomlinson with a two. Hot weather, fine, but humid weather, no. Yeah, that's the thing. Humidity is really shit. Like, if it's, like, 80% humidity or something, yeah. I agree. That's, like, miserable. But, like, a dry heat like Texas, I don't mind. I think California ha kind of has the same heat as well. Like, it's a drier heat, not necessarily humid. Crimson Iron with the five. I'd say two girls, one cup was more traumatizing. Hold up. Fuck. But yeah, I know where you're going with this. Then the Suicide Forest video, and I'm sure you can still find it on YouTube, definitely. And the people who made Two Girls, One Cup didn't get fucking canceled. Everybody was like, yeah, that's just fucking nasty, but you know, whatever. It'd be like that sometimes. I'm pretty sure more kids than adults have seen Two Girls, One Cup as well. Like, everyone I knew who had seen it was under the age of 18. Like, all of my, like, friends, brothers, and sisters and shit who were, like, in college at the time when we watched it didn't have any fucking clue what it was. It was, like, all the fucking younger generation that knew about it. Like, all, like, the fucking middle schoolers and elementary school kids knew about Two Girls, One Cup, not necessarily, like, adults. So, I don't know. There's definitely much worse shit. No pun intended. <laughs> the kids are exposed to than fucking Logan Paul blurring a fucking dead body. Dude, I watched Two Girls, One Cup when I was like 10, maybe. Probably even younger than that. We used to watch like a bunch of fucked up shit on the internet. <laughs> like, we used to watch... <sighs> Dude, I don't even know if I could say the shit. Like, if you watch Run the Gauntlet, it was that type of stuff. That was the type of stuff we used to watch in, like, my fourth grade. <laughs> like, dude, nobody, like, nobody gave a shit either. Like, it didn't phase anyone, really. I don't know. Randy Butternose with the five, but yet you can get drunk publicly and even buy liquor and vending machines. Yeah. Dude, it's funny. I don't know, like, it's fine if they don't want to allow drugs in their country, but, yeah, just don't fuck with it or else you'll get screwed. Like, they don't fuck around with that either. It's not like they're going to be like, oh, here's a slap on the wrist because you're a foreigner. No, they'll pitch your ass in fucking jail. So, y'all and Kales with the five. Humidity is the worst. It feels like walking through an ocean of hot air. It would take freezing over that any day. Still, I don't think so. I'd still probably have to go with the heat. Like, I just hate wearing layers of clothing. That shit really pisses me off. So, Baby Metal Rocks with the two got a 3070 today. Congrats, man. That's awesome. Did you find it for retail? Dude, fuck this guy. I hate that fucking shield drain bullshit. And it's always friendlies that use it that fuck you. It's like, alright, man. Thanks so much. You know... We gotta go kill these guys, but now I have no fucking shield. Martha has been with the five I grew up on wrecked threads from 4chan back in like 
0407 and in the hood nothing shocks me yeah i mean that's the thing it's like people like when i was growing up we saw so much fucked up shit like just barely anything phases me anymore like it takes a lot for me to like holy shit dude that's fucking disgusting because like i've seen it all like not the flex or anything man but you know i've seen some shit dude i'm gonna get vietnam flashbacks Heal. Yeah, I'm fucked. Yep. So that guy, Ozzy with the four, whoever hasn't watched Two Girls, One Cup, I highly recommend, lol. Or go visit meatspin.com. That's another great classic website. Meatspin.com. Crimson Iron with the two I grew up watching. Scarred. Wait. Scared and parkour. Wait. No, it's Scarred and parkour fails. Yeah. Dude, that's the thing. Is like YouTube used to have all that type of shit. Like you could watch some crazy shit go down on YouTube. Now it's like they ban all of it. It's kind of shitty. Like I remember there was this one video of a dude, <laughs> a dude who was skateboarding and like he ripped his nuts open. And he literally had his fucking testicle in his hand falling out of his nutsack. Like, I remember that shit. It was on fucking YouTube for years. They finally got rid of it, though. Like, that was the type of shit you used to go on YouTube for, to, like, see some fucked up shit go down. I don't know. Yeah, he ripped his fucking sack skateboarding. And he literally had his hand cupped. And his fucking testicle was falling out of the tear. What color was it? It's pink. But it was like covered in blood, but... <laughs> he was like bleeding like crazy. Which, I mean, of course, but yeah. Yeah, dude, YouTube used to have all this hardcore stuff on it. Pothead Investor with the five. I love cold weather, like 20 degrees wearing shorts all the time. What the fuck, man? I'm not built for that. I am definitely not built for that. True story, you remember? I mean, I saw that video at least 50 times. Like, we used to watch... Like, when you went over to a friend's house who had a computer back in the day, because, like, not everybody had, like, a laptop, at least when I was, like, in elementary school... Like, that was the stuff you would look up. Like, it would be, like, the flex. Like, oh, dude, I got a fucking laptop. You guys want to look up some fucked up shit? I don't know. Like, that's how you used to have fun back then. You must... Like, you would go on the internet and find the most disgusting video you could find. And you'd watch it with, like, your friends or whatever. And just see everybody's reaction in real time. Like, it was great. Just looked up meat spin. What the fuck? Also not that bad. I mean, it's not that bad, but you know, it was great when you could convince like a teacher to look it up or Penn Island, bro. I think that actually is a Penn website now though. Unfortunately, somebody bought the domain. Penn Island used to be the big joke. Synthetic. I mean, we can watch that video if you guys want. The Synthetic Man one. I haven't seen it, so... We can take a look if you want to. What is Meat Spin? Just go on MeatSpin.com, man. Easy. Ahsoka with the two. Did you ever watch the Retarded Policeman? Yeah, I used to watch those a lot when I was a kid. Definitely. Mad Dog with the 550? Hugo Martin compared the Doom Slayer to a Ferrari and he said he wants to make something that handles like a monster truck for the next game. Thoughts? So like what, you just meat roll everything and you don't really have to fucking try? I mean, that's pretty cool, honestly. I don't know. I'd be down for that. I think it'll be interesting to see which direction they take the next game. Crimson Iron with a 2, A Thousand Ways to Die was what I watched after school. Yeah, I remember that shit as well. That and Fear Factor. What was the other shit? There was a lot of, like, of those type of shows. 
<laughs> where it just showed people doing crazy shit. I remember when my aunt showed me a video where a kid blew his skull open because his phone exploded near his head. That's fucking awesome. I wish I had an aunt like that. I remember looking up Blue Waffle in the school. Yeah, I remember that as well. Dude, I remember like back in the day when Yahoo Images was like the place to go to find porn. If you didn't actually want to look up porn. Because back, like, way back, like, you know, this will date me a little bit, but it used to be, like, only your parents would have fucking internet access, so you'd have to use their computers, and they wouldn't, like, let you on it. <laughs> so we had to, like, um, find ways around it. So, like, we found all these, like, search terms or whatever that if you put into Yahoo Images and went to, like, the last couple pages or whatever, it would just be straight-up fucking porn. <laughs> and that's how we used to get that shit. And it was, like, untraceable because it'd be like, oh, he just looked up this. Because, like, parents would check browsing history back then. So they'd be like, oh, he's just looking up this shit. Who cares? But in reality, it was like, nah, we were looking up this other shit. I don't know. She showed it to me because she thought it would scare me into never owning a phone. Damn. That's sad. So, 210505 with the five YouTube rules are bull, censor anime boobs, but WAP can be seen by five year olds? Yeah. And they'll put it on trending as well. Front page, baby. Mad Dog with the 229. I'd say 40k Space Marine. Also watch... What is that? Astartes on YouTube? I haven't heard of him. I'll write that down real quick. Why didn't you just delete the history from the laptop? It was a desktop, and that would look way too fucking suspicious, bro. I'm telling you, parents used to check the browsing history. Like, dead ass. Like, my parents would check on my browsing history and be like, what did you look up here? It's like, oh, this was just a site for a game I was checking. And they'd be like, well, don't go on sites without my permission. Like, this was back when I was, like, seven or eight, dude, so. <laughs> That's the thing. Me and my, my friends started young. And various of the two, are you going to watch some videos tonight or not? I'm trying to see what you guys want me to watch because, like, honestly, I got nothing. Like, what do you guys want to watch? Darman, bruh. Dreamcast guy. If we're gonna do Darman, we'll probably do that at the very end. Cause once you get started on those, it's hard to stop. Nick paused girl with the vibe, bro. I remember those days my mom caught me lacking a few times. Bruh. <laughs> Dude, I've never been caught watching porn, so I made it through. I survived. I was never caught in the act. God is my witness. <laughs> I was really fucking paranoid about that, though. So, yeah. Yeah. You generation with the five little people videos? Damn. Like, what type? The various of the two check video suggestions. I mean, there's not really anything in there. I've been looking recently. It's kind of been pretty mid, bro. It's been kind of mid in there recently. Um, Crimson Iron with the two. Oh yeah, they found another mini lad of mini lads. What the fuck? Yeah, I saw that he put out another apology video or some shit. I don't know. Edward Hefner with the five. 
Astartes is some of the best one-man animation I've ever seen. Okay, so it's an animation channel. Gotcha. Pothead Investor with the two. Watch Logan Paul <laughs> Suicide Forest. I don't, dude, I don't know if that'll get me in trouble with YouTube or not. Because I think they knock down re-uploads of that type of shit. Noah Miller with the five. Yeah, there was worse stuff on YouTube. I remember friends showed me parkour fails where people died. One dude was dying from a shock on a utility pole. Yeah, I remember that shit. I remember some dude like grabbed the fucking electric <laughs> fence as well. No, he stuck his fucking dick in it. That was it. Like a chain link electric fence. He put his fucking dick through it <laughs> and got fucking fried, man. I mean, he was fine. Like he walked it off after the fact. But that shit was hilarious. Nevarious with a two. Watch some Yong. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Are you trying to put me in a fucking early grave? Ahsoka with the two. Big Man Gamers made a video about Bethesda lol. Oh, we can check that out. Definitely. But yeah, let me see. So, incognito. YouTube. I'm just not going to flashbang you guys. Turn on. Dark. Save. Okay, there we go. Apparently, Google has a dark theme now. I did not know this. Bro, I'm just looking at the front page and it's really... <laughs> It's really depressing, but yeah, let's see. So I guess we can just go down the list of the usual suspects. So Aaron JF94 with the two, we all know you want to see crap gamer. Always, man. I love Crap Gamer. Figgy Swift with a two. Astartes is a Warhammer 40k. You may or may not like it. Yeah, I'm not really too big into that stuff, to be honest. But, I mean, I'll take a look at it off stream. Morgan Monty's with the two. Definitely watch Astartes. Five parts. All of them short. Yeah, I'll take a look. Villa Lago with the five. Watch Bill Burr helicopter animated. Or story animated or live stand-up version. It's hilarious. I think I've seen that before, yeah. Somebody, one of my like friends in real life sent me that shit. I'm pretty, yeah. Yeah, I've seen that. I think I saw the animated one. Agent Nibbles with the five. Can I link a Doom reviewer video on Discord? Guy made a bad review on the DLC and made a video insulting his viewers, giving him criticism. I mean, sure, go ahead. Crimson Iron with the five. Apparently, Mini Lad was complimenting a 14 year old chest and talking to her. Tipster covered it and it was very recent. Yo, hold up. Let me check this because I'm pretty sure he uploaded another apology video, right? No, he didn't. Okay. I mean, we can take. What do you guys want to watch first? Let's hit that like button. That's right, man. Hit the like. Like, pause, girl with a two, watch Eric Andre Flavor Flav episode, please. I don't know what that is, man. I'll have to check it off stream. Oh, let's see. Crap Gamer, Dreamcast Guy, Crap Gamer. Yeah, we'll get the big man gamers. So, I'm seeing a lot of crap gamers. I mean, we can check what he's been doing. Honestly, haven't checked. But, we can go through a list of shit. The various of the two. Check out down the rabbit hole. Sonichu. It's wild. Dude, I've seen that, but we can definitely watch that another night. Isn't that, like, really long? I'm pretty sure. But it would be Chris Chan. It wouldn't be Sonichu. Uh, let's see. How long is it? 23 minutes? Maybe we could do it tonight. I don't know. Light Moon, Chris with a five. What will you do? I'm trying to figure it out, man. I'm trying to figure it out. Crimson Eye with a two. Can I hit light? Wait. 
can hit like YouTube ain't 18 yet. Sorry, bro. Damn. RIP. Crap gamer. All right, we'll look it up. So what do you guys want to watch? Which one? There's a lot to choose from here. We got PS5 just got a disappointing downgrade. Sony finally admits the PS5 was upgraded all. <laughs> so it was upgraded, then it got a downgrade. Okay. The no fanboy zone. Sony just shut up every fanboy argument with a brilliant PS5 announcement. Which one do you want to watch? Latest? Okay. Latest? Which one? One, two, or three. So one, two, three. Dude, crap cannot keep that same energy. How do you make a video saying that it was upgraded, then it was fucking downgraded? Alright, I'm seeing a lot of latest. Yep, yeah, we'll watch one. It's winning. I play baseball. Vaping made it harder to play. As an athlete, you have to focus. Having something that you're addicted to, it takes away from that focus. My addiction actually got me suspended from school. He's one slow talking brother, motherfucker. What I did. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> Bruh. They like, I think they purposely I try to make those videos as bad as fucking humanly possible to get more people to smoke. <laughs> like, legit. Figgy Swift with a two, watch some ordinary gamers video on PS5 disc versus digital. I mean, possibly, yeah. That's one we can stick on the list if you guys want. Unscripted. I don't know how... Dude, I know so many people that fucking vape and nobody gets addicted to it. I mean, unless you're, like, f going through, like, fucking four pods a day. I don't know how you get addicted to that shit. I just found out Griffin used to be Southern. Sorry. I gotta unsub. That's right, man. Unsub right now. Anti-vaping ads make me want to shoot up a school. Facts. In Minecraft. Honestly, I'm not sure what the deal is, but it seems like lately some of the media, maybe especially something like Digital Foundry, seems to have a bit of an axe to grind with Sony and the PlayStation 5. And it is a little bit weird because I'm not really a type of person who believes much in like conspiracy theories or <laughs> a situation where the media would be completely biased now i do think oh bullshit i'm not one of those people that believes in fucking conspiracy theories and media shit. bias what when it was the xbox one crap gamer was the person who coined the phrase media bias when it came to video games like this motherfucker cannot be real you know he says keep that same energy but i don't know man I don't fucking know. I think, obviously, there can be things like favoritism and things like that, and that affected Xbox very much early on last generation, uh, and that really kind of didn't help matters that Microsoft was out there trying to uh, basically take every gamer right ever had. So, yeah. Be really happy with it. Gamers. Uh, yet we keep seeing these bad things come up. Like, uh, this bit of news we're going to talk about here today, uh, and it's just... God, this game looks so fucking boring. Something that I kind of look at and I go, man, what are what are we doing? But this is like the PS4 version of Ratchet and & Clank, and it looks the exact same as the game that's about to come out. Which I think is so funny, they're like hyping this shit up so much. You know, what are what are we thinking as gamers here? Yeah, that's you know, right. Why, why is this such a, such a thing? It's we need to rise up. It's like every little thing that people can think of to point to as a negative fa factor for Xbox or PlayStation gets implemented. And, and really, 
there's this is one of those things where I personally just maybe get a little bit tired of it. You know, like, you know, the Poor things crap. that we, it, it reminds me of last generation. And just real quick, I want to talk about a story because everybody knows I was a huge Xbox fan last generation. And you know what? I still like Xbox. I think Xbox Series X is a fantastic console. It just lacks the games. It lacks the content. And, you know, when they get that fixed, they'll be ready to go. And will they ever be where Sony is? Will they ever be able to match what Sony can do? Now, that's something that, you know, you know that's a bit of a question of its own. Um, probably not. They probably won't be able to match what Sony can do. But, you know, that doesn't mean that they can't have a successful console. Why does he start every video with 10 seconds of silence? Your guess is as good as mine, man. <laughs> I have no fucking clue. I guess just to make sure it gets past 10 minutes. Like, that is the buffer, you know, just in case he's, like, five seconds too short. The berries with the two? With the two, man? Appreciate it. Agent Nibbles with the two? I only liked two out outside of... Or two of... Out of 16 Ratchet games? Wait, there's like 16 of these motherfuckers? Damn. Shit. That's pretty crazy. Y'all and Kales of the Five, we live in a period where gamers are not so popular. That's right. Don't be a gamer. Just play video games. I don't, like, that's the thing I don't get is, like, why do people call themselves fucking gamers, bro? It's like... Yeah, I enjoy playing video games. I'm not a fucking gamer. I don't know. That shit's always been cringe to me. Cool not a, a fan. And a great console of their own. And, you know, I think that they will have that. And I think that they're going to be able to have that. But if you go back to last generation, there were always these sort of weird um, situations where, you know, they we would see different things from Digital Foundry that didn't make any sense. Like, they would talk about the grass in Grand Theft Auto V. Because what happens was... When you couldn't get a proper situation where there was a winner in resolution, which sometimes there wasn't, like Microsoft really did have, um, you know, some people go out and, and, and show others how to kind of get the most out of the resolution out of the Xbox One, out of that box. Uh, but the problem was, was that there would be concessions to be able to do it. So even though Grand Theft Auto V would be 1080p, on both Xbox One and PlayStation 4, uh, you would have a situation where there would be more foliage on the PlayStation 4 version. But at that point, I thought the wheels came off a little bit, right? Because originally, I thought that that was some kind of like, um, you know, joke post or something like that. We're talking about grass. You know, people called it grass gate. Like, I, I mean, seriously, this is this is what we've gotten to at this particular point, right? Where we're talking about grass and now we're talking... <laughs> I, it's just, it's really funny, man. It's literally the most petty shit now that he calls out other people for that he used to call other fucking shit out for as well. I, it's, like, really amazing to me. Like, dude, 4K makes you a true gamer or a better gamer? Like, what the fuck, man? I don't know. I just, I really find it really just hypocritical whenever Crap Gamer tries to call other people out on the same shit he used to do. I can't! The Manny team of the two will make him speak with his wallet. Good luck with that shit. You know, speak with your wallet and then says, yeah, I'm still going to buy it anyway. Love to see it. Talking about these other things, but, you know, I wanted to talk about this. No matter how ridiculous it is, I just thought it, I thought it was worthwhile kind of just covering. And, you know, obviously PlayStation fans aren't happy about this. It's kind of clear that there might be a little bit of an axe to grind for some reason. And, uh, you know, we'll have to talk about it and see what happens. Let's get started, however. What's up, everybody? Crep Gamer here with Crep Gamer Reviews. That's right. Back with another video. Thank you very much for checking it out. I really do appreciate it. Uh, please like, Back share, subscribe. with another video, guys. Well. Get excited. Channel. It means a lot to me personally. If you're looking for a way to help out a crappy little dying channel like mine, the best way to do it is a simple like. Uh, it helps out tremendously, and it means a lot to me personally. Um, you know, a like, you can share it out. You can, you know, hit the bell so you're notified of all the content as soon as it drops. All that stuff, just very much appreciated, and I think, I think you guys are amazing, and, um, you know, I just want to say thank you. So shout out to all the old subscribers. Oh, my God, guys. Crap Gamer thinks I am amazing. 
You know I can sleep easy tonight. Yeah, we're almost five minutes into this shit, and he's still doing his fucking intro. You know, I, I'm so glad that Craft Gamer told me I'm amazing, though. You know, that really just made my week. Subscribers, new subscribers, and everybody in between, you guys have been nothing short of amazing as well. And I just wanted to give you guys a shout out and say thank you. It has gone noticed, and you guys are all appreciated. So thank you guys very much. Oh and um, so let's go, huh? We got to get this started because I know a lot of people are going to want to be talking about this. And I found it to be very interesting myself. So, according to this report, the PS5 is so reportedly excited. unable to correctly reproduce standard def uh, or SDR uh, content, which results in black crush issues. So what the fuck is that? What the fuck is a black crush issue? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Has anyone here heard of black crush issues? Like, what the fuck is this? This is not a real thing that any normal human being would actually give a fuck about. So, according to this, and I will link this, of course, so you guys can check it out. I'm if you're so among interested. those few million gamers that managed to snatch a PlayStation 5 console so far, you'll probably have noticed by now that Sony's latest gaming system outputs by default everything in HDR or high dynamic range. Standard dynamic range uh, content included. However, it appears that even if you turn off HDR in order to properly play older titles that do not support HDR displays or SDR reproduction is off, Alexander Pataglia of Digital Foundry explained this in a couple of tweets today. He says, the PlayStation 5 is actually not displaying original SDR content correctly, unfortunately. Oh my god, dude. I've noticed such a big difference. You know, whatever will I do that this thing I didn't even know what the fuck was <laughs> is displaying something incorrectly. The term black crush usually refers to a certain condition where a display panel outputs inconsistent colors and severely pixelated blocks while rendering blacks on the screen. Hmm. So it sounds like if you have a cheap TV... It's an issue, which, you know, go figure. <laughs> like, is this some fucking major issue plaguing the console or some shit? Does it with backwards compatibility titles for sure. Could lead to Black Crush or other changes in reproducing the game's color or tone. It is not as dramatic as limited versus full issues shown in the quoted tweet, in the quoted tweet, but if you capture SDR on PlayStation 4 Pro and compare it to SDR on PS5 of that same game, there are differences which can be negative. Uh, now, his colleague John Litteman actually agreed to this, later adding that uh, all of the game captures made by Digital Foundry and SDR have had problems with Black Crush compared to other platforms. Yeah, it's been a real issue for us. That said, in this case, it's likely a full limited RGB issue as PS5 typically crushes darker shades rather than increases the black floor. The PS5 does not properly display SDR. If we capture the same game from all PS4s and Xbox systems using the same settings, blacks are crushed on PS5 and SDR. I'm convinced SDR output is broken. SDR in HDR container is better here. SDR just doesn't seem to be quite right. All of our display captures from the PlayStation 5 and SDR are slightly crushed compared to all other machines. But if your display does a poor job with HDR, it might still look better in SDR. Hopefully Sony can obviously produce a fix for this outstanding PlayStation 5 issue. While HDR content is the future, there's no reason why reproducing old SDR content should be a problem for the console. So I found... I don't know, this kind of sounds like something that's not even that big of a fucking deal, to be honest. Like, I don't know, is anyone else having this problem? Like, I don't know. I haven't really heard of this actually being an issue on the console, but maybe it is. I have no fucking clue. I found this to be a little bit interesting because... I've never noticed it before, you know? It's one of those things where I'm kind of like... Yeah, exactly. I gotta agree with Crap Gamer here. Like, who the fuck has even noticed this shit? Like, I've never heard anyone complain about this at all. I'm kind of shaking my head. Like, I've played... You know, I've booted up some backwards compatible stuff um, that wasn't HDR, and I haven't really noticed anything, and I have an LG uh, CX OLED. So it kind of took me a little bit by surprise that there was any kind of issues... Um, to be seen there and, and just yeah, kind of leaves me a little bit um, shocked to say the least because I felt like it was just a situation where you know um, it's something that 
gamers in general, um, you know, maybe haven't really seen that much of recently. So, yeah, it is a little bit uh, ups- kind of weird to say the least that this is happening. But I also kind of want to point out that I feel like um, when it comes to what Sony is doing, they've done a really good job with the PlayStation 5. It's just that we don't have the, um, you know, uh, we have a situation. It's just sad to watch this man play a video game. It really is. So Agent Nibbles of the Five Crab comp- once compared side by side screenshots when he first became a PS fanboy, and even though they are identical, he said Xbox bad grass thing is ironic. Yeah, dude, Crab Gamer has a hundred examples you can go back to and look at what a complete fucking hypocrite he is. Like he cannot keep that same energy whatsoever. Able with the two, what the fuck is Black Crush issue? Apparently, like it, like when the game renders a screen and like if there's a segment of it that's like blacked out, like say it's like really shadowy over here and it's like a black screen kind of, it just looks really pixelated. But I don't really think it's a big problem because I've mainly only played backwards compatible games on my PS5 and I've never noticed this whatsoever. Like this, where there could be like some some small problems and things like that, and it does seem like a little bit, in my opinion, anyway, that it's quite obvious that maybe this Anthony guy could potentially have some kind of axe to grind with Sony or maybe even Sony fans, because unfortunately, I did see some PlayStation fans kind of going back and forth with him, um, and I felt like that you know maybe that kind of ticks him off or whatever. And to the point where he goes oh God, out there and tries to out. intentionally find things. Because this is honestly the first I've heard of this. And it is a little bit weird to say the least. But I also think that it is something that um, obviously, you know, definitely could be true. I'm not saying that I don't believe it. I'm saying that it's just a little bit weird that we've kind of seen something like this happen. Um, you know, just out of the blue like this. And this comes off the heels of, of kind of him arguing with um some some playstation fans on twitter and i just found that to be a little bit interesting to say the least and again i'm not saying that you know he's full of it or anything like that or anybody should do anything or say anything i'm just saying (laughs) i'm not saying you should do anything but you know here i am making this video that this dude's full of shit okay i see how it is crap you know i'm not saying that she should go fucking firebomb his house but if you do it I could see why. <laughs> like, okay, dude, we get it. You're not suggesting that people go do it, but if they did it, you could see why they're justified. You know, that's a classic. You know, I'm not saying it, but, you know, I'm heavily suggesting it. So, Alex with the five, it's my birthday today. Sharing the love. You're my favorite gamer. Appreciate it, man. Happy birthday to you. Hope you had a good day. James with the two, you ever eat the poop? Nah, man. Can't say I have. Crush your bad 64. I find it more screwed up that you can get a Series S. Shit, I read that completely wrong. Put it in developer mode and run older PlayStation games on it. Yet PS5 can't do that. Yeah. It makes no fucking sense whatsoever. But Sony and backwards compatibility have never been a good mix. Like, they somehow always find a way to fucking butcher it. I find it the timing to be a little conspicuous uh, just with everything that we've seen so far with... Um, some of the back and forth that he's had with PlayStation fans. That's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, I haven't noticed, but maybe I'll check out some older SDR titles on via backwards compatibility and see what I can find out for myself because I think that that's going to be the best way that I can kind of view um, and give a kind of an unbiased idea on what's going on. So um, with that being said, very interesting stuff, and I would absolutely be thrilled to hear your guys' take and thoughts and input on this because obviously that's super important and you know i just would very much appreciate it and i think you guys are awesome thank you guys for bearing with the channel as we go through some changes and things like that i hope you guys have a fantastic day stay safe happy and healthy take care of each other and have a good time gaming there is some good games out there man and uh you know hopefully you guys find them and, and have a good time with that thank you for watching please have a fantastic day Rack them up. Game on, my friends. Game on. Thank you, Crab. Crab Gamer, out. Go leave a like, guys. This was such a great YouTube video. Unscripted. You know, I'm really glad we watched this. It was so informative. (laughs) Jesus Christ.
All right, what else? Let's see what Dreamcast got us up to. Liberty Mutual. I just said that. America's long-term care hold up. centers are working hard to. I gotta take a screenshot, so I gotta black out the screen real quick. But this is too cool to not fucking screenshot. Cause it'll pop up my um file browser. Um, let me pull it up. I I just want to show you guys this. Like, it's not a flex or anything, but I just thought this was really cool. What the fuck? Happened? Hold on. One second. I don't trust this shit. I can't afford this shit. Um. Yeah, you can see it. There it is. <laughs> Bro, we're fucking satanic in this bitch. What the fuck, dude? 666. Six, six. Six, six. I don't know. I just had to fucking screenshot that. That shit's pretty crazy. My Discord chat's dead? Yeah, because most people are here. <laughs> like, dude, that was so fucking perfect. I had to... T dude, that's like... I had to take a screenshot. That's like God tier right there. So, yeah. Or Satan tier, I guess. Not really God tier, but yeah. You get it, man. I, I don't know. That was really cool. Shit. So, Stefano Cueto with the five. Hey, Griffin, at work right now, but it's dead as fuck. Thanks for the content. No problem, man. Hope you can get through your shift pretty quick. Travis Cooper with the five. Black crushes when detail and dark scenes are crushed out by just blacks and are not rendered, so you can't see it. It's common on OLED TVs and cheap LED TVs. Okay, so I have a QLED, so maybe that's why I don't see it. Because my TV doesn't have OLED, and it's not a cheap LED. So maybe that's it. I just won't notice it because I don't have the problem with my TV. So I guess it depends on what type of TV you get. Protect our vulnerable That was little Nas X tier. Well, that would imply that it's fucking dog shit, man. <laughs> the worst game of... T what, got what video do you guys want to watch? Which one? Somebody mentioned a Bethesda one. They want to beat PS5 with Bethesda. Did we watch this? I don't think we did. Did we watch this shit? Most recent? We did not. We did? See, I don't think we did. I don't remember it at all. I don't remember this one. If I like, all right, so if we watch it and I feel like we've watched it before, we'll move on to something else. But I don't remember watching this shit. Uh, so bro with the two, check out some ordinary gamers video after maybe. Yeah, we can take a look. The Manny team with the two. I don't think they want my booster giveaway. Lol. What do you mean? I don't know what that means, man. We didn't. We just have a couple trolls. All right. Texas experienced massive power outages caused by the deregulation of their energy markets. Today has been completely strange when you consider the fact that Xbox is starting to reveal their master plan and how they want to try and beat the PlayStation 5. And while I think it's good, I'm curious if it's going to work. What's up, gamers? Dreamcast guy here. And just a bit ago, I just finished watching the Xbox Roundtable, where they basically spent an hour talking to the developers over at Bethesda about this <laughs> upcoming acquisition. The fact that now Bethesda is 100% completely owned by Microsoft. <laughs> and the reason they did this is almost as a way of trying to calm down the fans. A lot of the things the developers were saying was lots calm of stuff about, down? oh, this isn't a big deal. Yes, they technically own our games. 
game engines, our ideas, our games, our IP, everything's going to be on Game Pass. I did watch this, but dude. I do not remember like this shit at all. Time just what the fuck? Going, this will only be good for Xbox gamers. I do not now remember talk this about at the all. Idea man. Of exclusives and what I think the grander implications of this in a war against PlayStation. Because let's face it, there is still a little bit of a console war, and right now the biggest weapon watch in the MBG. console war in behalf dude, of Sony to to is momentum. The PlayStation 4 was such a crazy, overwhelming success that a lot of people jumped straight from PS4 to PS5 because it carried all right, over whatever. their games we'll watch library. Something else. I don't remember this shit at all. You guys probably just watched this shit on your own. I do not remember this at fucking all. So I don't think there's anything else to watch then on here. Like, I don't really give a shit about reviews. <clears throat> <clears throat> fuck dude why is like I'm feeling congested all of a fucking sudden and I don't know why his 200k special alright we can watch that I guess I don't know fuck I typed in 299 Godzilla will come for Kong good world needs him why do we need king kong like why the fuck would we ever need king kong i don't know crush your bad 64 with the two dreamcast guys videos are so memorable <laughs> not yeah i guess so i don't remember this shit at all y'all when kales of the five our master plan phil spencer <laughs> applause that's right gaming griffin come down with covid no I doubt it. Nothing that exciting. I can't afford this shit! What's up, gamers? Dreamcast Guy here, and we just broke 200,000 freaking subscribers. This is a milestone that is just so epic, I, I genuinely cannot comprehend this. The fact that we're now just about one fifth of the way to a million subscribers, it just. It is just beyond my comprehension. So today, I want to tell you a story. Now, this is a very personal story that's going to oh sound God. sad, but I promise it has a very happy ending. I want to tell you guys how specifically you have changed my life and for the better. <clears throat> So growing up, I've always considered myself to be a very creative person. I always liked the process of making things, whether it be doing something in RPG Maker or... I'm not a creative person. Dreamcast guy's catching up to me. That's not true, man. I actually passed him fairly recently. I think back in like... Fuck, I don't even know. Like January or February, maybe? I don't know. Just trying to create something out of Maybe Legos. January. I've always enjoyed the or process December. I'm not of sure. sitting down and making something that did not exist that morning. Well, when I was about eight or nine years old, my mom was very addicted to drugs. Uh, she would actually do speed, Adderall. She would basically stay awake for days at a time, and it made her a very <laughs> bad dude. Parent. Uh, speed I mean and Adderall? Holy shit. Dude, you'd be hyped the fuck up. Damn. And obviously, she would hallucinate. She would say just horrible things to me, even though I was a child. And one day I came home, and I used to write these little short stories. Usually what I would do is, just as like a mental experiment at about eight years old, I would take existing universes and write extra characters into them. So like I would... So fan fictions. Bruh take Resident Evil and I mean I was way too young to be playing it but I liked Resident Evil and I would write extra characters into the stories I mean it was basically just fan fiction but as primitive as these stories certainly were because I was a kid I still had so much love for these characters I would create well one time I came home and my mom was especially high this day and she had decided for some reason to rip up all the stories I'd written, the piles of notes. I had like a big old stash of what? stories I'd written. And <laughs> why would his mom? Re well, I mean, maybe she read them and they were really sexual or some shit. I don't fucking know. But like, why would your mom like even if she was like drugged up, like why would she just rip up a bunch of random fucking stories? I don't know. 
I don't know if this passes the BS filter or not. She, for some reason, decided to shred them. So I came home and I just saw the piles of paper of every character I'd ever created. Now, in the moment, it hurt my feelings, of course, right? I mean, it's something I had made. I'd poured my, my love into this thing and had been destroyed for absolutely no reason. But it ended up having a lasting effect. It, it ended up having this scar inside of me, which made it where all my creations after that I had this habit where I felt as if I was supposed to destroy my own creations out of that. Whenever what? I would make something for the rest of I'm sorry, what? I don't know, man. That's kind of weird. Because, I mean, the thing is, is, like, he lied about I some shit about working in a shit. dark place or some where he couldn't even stand up. Like, I don't know. Like, the dude has a lot of bullshit in the past, so I don't know how much of this we can actually believe is true. But if it is true, I mean, it kind of sucks. But, you know, you got to take a lot of this shit with a grain of salt. Uh, let's see. So the many team of the two, probably he still lives with his mom. Lol. No, he lives alone. Or actually he has a roommate, I think. I don't know. He's going to destroy me? Fuck, dude. Fucking destroyed. To the next, like, 20 years, I would destroy it afterward. If I wrote an entry in a journal, a lot of times I'd rip it out later. If I did make, like, a building out of Legos and enjoyed it, usually within a day or two, I'd smash it. Uh, Everybody fucking does that with Legos as a kid. Like, who the fuck leaves Legos just whole as a child? The whole point of Legos when you're a kid is you build the shit that you're supposed to, then you tear it apart and build whatever the fuck you want to. Like, that's normal. I don't know. That's not like a, um unordinary thing to do with Legos. It was just a habit of mine. And, and I, it was just a habit I couldn't break because it felt like I was supposed to do it. It wasn't out of anger. It wasn't out of some weird sense of justice. It just felt like the things I made were not supposed to exist. Well, flash forward a bunch of years. There I am trying to figure out YouTube. YouTube became this certain this different thing because it felt like for the first time I was not allowed to destroy the things I had created. I would sit down every morning and I'd really try and think up a fun news story to talk about. I'd try and just play a game and write a review or something. And every day I would want to try and make something. And once I had put it onto the internet, it no longer felt appropriate to destroy it. It felt like I had given it away to a friend, which maybe that'll seem like a goofy thing to say, but it really kind of cured me of this sense that I must destroy what I create. And so, as I don't know, man, this, <laughs> this just sounds weird. The guy, Ozzy with the seven, I wonder if he hits 1 million subs. will tell us how he lost his virginity. That'd be a great story time video. I would definitely watch that. This just I would definitely keeps watch growing that. And as the channel just keeps exploding more and more. And I get on like trending and stuff like that. It makes me realize that I would... Dude, Dreamcast guy has been on trending and I have not, which really just makes me sad. I'm irrelevant as fuck. It's wrong to have destroyed what I created for so many years. And now this has relevant, just become dude. such a crazy journey where I finally learned to love what I've made. It, it, like the fact that I've been able to go on stage with Greg Miller from Kinda Funny. The fact that I've played games so dude, freaking... Dude, why the fuck do you care about going on stage with shit. Greg Miller from Kinda Funny? That dude's a complete fucking pussy. Like Greg Miller is like the literal PlayStation shill from IGN who bowed down to fucking what was his name who used to run PlayStation I can't remember Yoshida or whatever like bro Greg Miller is literally when you think of a comic book nerd stereotype it's fucking him like he's gross he's fucking disgusting he's annoying as shit he's not funny like he's literally like the dude who sips soy milk <laughs> and reads like fucking newspapers bro at starbucks like that's literally the motherfucker he I is i can't afford this shit i can't afford so let's this see. shit let's see um figgy swift with the two i'm back have you watched sog's video no haven't Age nibbles with the two he has a god complex with legos laugh my fucking ass off i love it yeah that's right 
<laughs> Crispy Lizard with a two. Free Taco Bell Crunch Wrap on DoorDash. Orders 12 plus. Really? I may have to check that out. Dude, I could go for some Taco Bell. What time is it now? So I've been streaming for three hours. I don't know how much longer I'm going to go. Probably another hour or two. <clears throat> Hopefully it'll still be up. I think my Taco Bell closes, though. Greg Miller looks like a psycho. But dude, he just looks like such a fucking pussy. Like, he literally looks like the type of motherfucker whose wife has a boyfriend. Like, he's the fucking epitome of that meme. Rare, they hardly even exist. The fact that I've been able to talk to people, travel around, be on stages and stuff, I don't know, it's just... I'm eternally thankful because you guys have helped me get over what was definitely my greatest fear, my greatest flaw, the the problem of making. I hate Greg now Miller. Now I can celebrate can everything I've ever done. Thank you guys so much for, for making my life what it is today. I genuinely cannot thank Greg you guys Miller enough. This is like... has just been such a wild ride. <laughs> so fu I the fact fucking that this just keeps guy. getting bigger and better and, and even more epic... I am thankful for every freaking morning where I get to wake up and freaking Greg talk Miller to you guys looks like about the type of dude game. who would let his wife peg him to get in touch with this feminine side. Thank you. And now I guess onward to one million. God, keep dreaming. Onward to a million. Dude, I'm probably never going to hit a million, to be honest. Like, I just don't fucking see it happening. Just curious who these channels are they're recommending. So Sean Richardson with the five. If you ever want to I lose your appetite, watch DSP. Yeah, I've seen that shit. I've seen DSP's cooking videos. They are legendary, bro. DSP tries it back in the day. I don't know, man. DSP used to put out some killer quality content. Just skipped every other mile. Dude, I don't even get the miles. Like, honestly, I didn't think 200K was a big milestone. It's like, it's 100,000, 500,000, and a million, I feel like, are the milestones. I don't know. Anything in between is kind of just like, you know, you're kind of desperate for attention at that point. <clears throat> or you just want to take a fucking um victory lap just for the lols. I don't know. Not really my style, personally, but. Oh. Just looked up Greg Miller. He definitely looks like the type of dude who goes on Reddit 24-7. Nah, he looks like a fucking Twitter user. He uses Twitter on the regular. That's exactly what he looks like. Manny Team of the Two tried Drake Delafino video. We watched one of those before. I made a video on him. He's kind of boring, to be honest. But yeah, we'll look up the... um. Let me see. It was PS5. I don't laugh. I can't afford this shit! PS5. <clears throat> Where is it? Digital... Which one is it, like, that you guys want me to watch? Is it something about a PS5 digital? I don't see it. I don't see it. Latest one? Hello, guys. And okay. We've been at this for a year. But the light is ahead, and it invites us not to go back to where we left off, but... Hello, guys and gals, me, Mudahar, and Sony has made a pretty wild error. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm a huge Sony fan, a PlayStation boy, so before anybody goes into the comments and says, oh, look at this guy, he's a secret Xbox employee, you know, I'm not getting a paycheck from Microsoft, like, I've been with Sony for years, okay, ever since I was a wee boy who owned a SNES and a Genesis, my first real system that really brought me into gaming, in my opinion, was PlayStation 1, okay, countless nights of Siphon Filter, Countless nights of Metal Gear Solid. Countless nights of Akuji the Heartless, if anybody can remember that. So I've been gaming with PlayStation for a while. Now, PlayStation has some of my favorite exclusives ever made on the platform. Games like Metal Gear Solid 4. A game that I love so much. I hated Metal Gear Solid 4. 
I remember buying it as a kid. Like, I had 50 bucks, and I was like, shit, I'll get this. Like, it's got a lot of, rev like, good reviews and shit. I bought it, and I have never regretted buying a video game more in my entire fucking life. Much ...that I made a four-hour-plus video on, and I'm really proud of it. So if you want to go check it out, check it out. But I'm done shilling that content. What's really pissed me off... I fucking hate Metal Gear Solid 4. That shit literally, like, ruined, like, a month of my life as a child. I remember just being, like, so pissed off I wasted money on that garbage. ...off in this situation is the... Game controlled like a fucking retard holding a controller. Like, you literally felt like, physically handicapped trying to play that game. Agent Nibbles with the two, one through three were awesome. Four should have never existed. I just like I could not get into that game. The fucking controls sucked. The graphics were okay. The story was all over the fucking. I don't know, man. It's just it was not for me. Actual terrible engineering design choice of PlayStation 4s and even PlayStation 3s. If you don't know, we all apparently, if you own a PlayStation, you own a system that is designed to one day completely fail with no failsafe whatsoever. I now, understandably, every bit of technology fails, right? That much is a true given. We all know that all these systems are set to die. But repairing them is something that we consider to be pretty easy. We figure it out over time. Now, before we go into that, we're going to wind down a little bit and talk about the actual uh, weirdness that is Sony's store being locked down. Now, if you don't know, Sony has locked down the web store for the PS3, PSP, and PS Vita. Up until this point, you can still access them if you have those systems connected, which I do, by the way. I still own a PlayStation 3. It runs real good for me. I hate the PS3. I play a lot of games on it. I got stuck with a PS3 instead of a 360, and it was, like, living hell. <laughs> Bro, I fucking hate the PS3. Like, all my friends had fucking Xbox 360s, and I'm over here with the fucking PS3, dog shit online, fucking Blu-ray discs that took three hours to install instead of just putting in a fucking disc and being done. You had the worst fucking controller I think I've used in my entire life. It literally was so cheap feeling, you could hear the fucking chip inside of it. That, like, powered the controller jiggling when you fucking shook it. I mean, like, dude, I fucking hate the PS3. The UI was the same UI that Sony used in their fucking Blu-ray players. Like, I have a Sony Blu-ray player from around that same era. The I UI is literally set. the exact same. It's just missing the game tab. Like, the exact same fucking UI and everything. Like, dude, don't even get me started on the fucking PS3. I hate that fucking console. The PS3 is the worst console I think I've ever owned. There was nothing about that console that I liked. The 360 was literally a generational fucking leap over the PS3. Like, I don't even know. Like, just the party chat alone made the 360 a hundred times fucking better than that horse shit heap of a console known as the PlayStation 3. Games ran like shit on it. The controller was dog shit. You had shit. probably the worst UI in the history of video game consoles. You had the fucking retarded Blu-rays, which took 18 times longer to install a video game than the fucking DVDs did. It's just like the PS3 was the fattest L in all of video game history. The only exclusive game for the PS3 I actually enjoyed was God of War 3. That was about it. Like, God of War 3 was the only game I was like, yeah, I'm really glad I have a PS3 to play this game. Everything else? Nah. The 360 just shit. fucking shit on it in every single way. Like, you cannot tell me that the fucking 360 was not better than the fucking garbage PS3. I don't know. And even then, the PS3 was more expensive, too. So you're paying more for a shit heap of a console when you could have gotten a 360. I don't know. I was, I was really pissed when I got a PS3. I'm not going to lie.
but I recently been playing through Metal Gear Solid. I know that I'm I know that I'm a Metal Gear fan. Trust me, you don't have to remind me twice. But the stores have been shut down on the webpage. If you go to PlayStation Store now, you can access such fine purchases for the PlayStation 3, uh, sorry, PS4 and PS5 store, which is fine and dandy. It would be better if people could actually own a PS5, you know, versus scalpers, but that's besides the point. Uh, obviously, when you buy digital games, right, you're buying a license. Eventually, when those servers go down, and they will one day, you're going to lose access to those games, which is why buying physical is always where it's at. And this is where we're... I don't agree with that at all. Because without the online store now, you wouldn't even be able to use the physical copies, so... Nah. And what happens when the next generation of consoles doesn't have a fucking disk drive? All your physical copies are suddenly worthless and you wasted all that money on discs, and now you can't play them on the new console because you have to buy them all digital now. So that is not exactly true. Yeah, that, that's out-of-date logic. You can't go with that anymore. Not at all. Most games aren't even on the disc at this point. So, y'all win Kales of the Five. Fable 3 was that moment for me. Horrible sequel that never should have been made. I mean, honestly, I like Fable 3, but I can see where you're coming from. Yeah, it's definitely different from the others. Agent Nibbles of the Five play Metal Gear Rising. It's basically God of War. Yeah, I've played that. That's really good. In the Metal Gear universe, it was rushed, but the game still came out really good. Bosses are fire. Yeah, dude, the soundtrack in that game's really good, too. Yeah, I like um, Rising Revengeance, or whatever it's called. The Barius with the two PS3 controller had <laughs> jiggle physics. Yeah. Dude, that shit felt like a Happy Meal toy. Like, legit, it was a hollow plastic shell that just felt so cheap. Keith Dennis with the five? Damn, just think, if exclusives didn't exist, what would fanboys talk about? Nothing. But yeah, this whole physical versus digital argument's really fucking outdated. It doesn't really apply anymore. Physical copies are not going to matter in 10 years when consoles don't even have a disk drive. And now all of a sudden you're left with a bunch of like really fucking worthless copies of games on discs that you can't even play. And you're probably going to be like, oh yeah, I'd rather have had the digital copy because I can actually play the backwards compatible version of my console at no extra cost. Yeah, I'll ban them. I got them. Hopefully that was him. Right? Yeah, that was him. All right, cool. But yeah, I don't know. The whole digital versus physical argument's really irrelevant at this point because most games aren't even on the disc. We're going to have a little bit of a class. I keep going on the internet and I keep seeing absolute morons who have no idea what they're talking about. Oh, uh, buying it. No, nah, I don't think disc drives will always exist. I can almost guarantee you the PS5 Pro is not going to have one. I can already see it. Digital game. Get the PS6 will definitely not have a disk drive. Doesn't matter because you still have to install your game to the system. All right, Einstein, you you fucking. All right, Nostra fucking Damus. Let me explain something about physical discs, okay? Just because you have to install the game, yes, that's how gaming works now, okay? We had HDDs back in the day, slow drives. You have to install a 50 gig game because trying to read it off a Blu-ray disc would make you wait until you're collecting social fucking security checks. The way that it works is every game on PS4, if it doesn't say online only on the box, you can install it and play from start to finish with a complete offline version of the game. That's what makes physical better than digital. Digital means that you are connected to a storefront to constantly download and maintain your games. When that store goes mm. down... I don't know how accurate this is now. I don't really see... Because what is it, the capacity for a Blu-ray disc, 40 gigabytes? Like, you could not... I don't think you can play Red Dead off the disc, right? You have to install it? I don't know. But... <laughs> It doesn't even matter, too, because most games need a day one update. Like, they absolutely fucking need the day one update, or else they're broken, buggy pieces of shit. So even if the basic version of that game is on the disc, it's in a form that literally no one would ever want to play because it's buggy, broken, and just fucking dog shit. <laughs> like, bro, imagine the person who installs Cyberpunk 2077 in the fucking future. <laughs> like, bruh. 
<laughs> I'm sure you'd be really glad you kept the disc for that one. I don't know. Foreseeable future, the physical disc is the only way to play that game if you don't have it prior installed to the system. You get that? That's why owning physical is great. You, and I understand, okay? You might miss out on patches, which sucks. You may miss out on multiplayer, obviously. But the games, 99% of them are mostly... Firestone tires were Buggy, built for broken, out there. and damn near unplayable. 90 days. Yeah, no, I, I don't agree with this take 100%. at all, really. Like, let's see, Assassin's Creed Unity. Are we really going to claim you can play that game without updates? No. Watch Dogs. Are we really going to claim that you can play that game without updates? <laughs> Assassin's Creed. Probably not. Like, most of these games require a day one update. Like, for real. The games are, like, so broken when they release on disc now. It's, like, it's not even funny. Playable. I can load up FF15 on my console through a disc and play it from start to finish. I can load up Cyberpunk and play 1.0 from start to finish. Should I? Probably not. But the fact that I can do it is a big enough deal for me. So, a little... Just buy it on PC and you don't have to worry about it. I don't know, man. Like, isn't it the thing that console gamers always brag about is generations? Like, you know, I don't know. I just don't really get the whole, like, hatred of digital, to be honest. Like, it's more should be a hatred of consoles. <laughs> like, this isn't a problem on Steam. This is only a PlayStation problem. This is solely fucking PlayStation. It's them. This doesn't apply to any other digital platform at the moment. You can buy every single 360 game still. You can buy every single Xbox One game still. You can buy every single PC game for the most part on Steam that's ever been released. It's a fucking console problem. It's not a digital bad problem. I don't know, like... I think he should have focused more on the PlayStation side, not necessarily like just going after fucking digital in general. Further update on this nonsense, PlayStation Store is actually confirmed to shut down for PS3, Vita, and the PSP. But you'll still be able to re-download those previous games, redeem some vouchers, and all that nonsense. But you're going to lose the ability to actually buy games. Now, don't get me wrong, eventually you'll probably also lose the access to re-download these games anyways. Uh, because, hey, that costs money to run those servers, and I don't know how keen Sony is on actually maintaining that. The other big problem with this entire situation, really is that, uh, let's be honest, okay, some of these games like LSD Dream Emulator that I loved playing are only really f affordable because of these digital purchases. Now that that's gone, these games are going to jack up in prices. Do not do not underestimate the, the expectation that PS3 games aren't going to start hiking up in price because now people are going to read this and think, wow, we're sitting on some rare golden, you know, files, and that's pretty much how it works. Regardless of how much physical media dies, It'll actually still outlive digital counterparts. Discs will rot and die, but they'll probably rot and die uh, long after you're dead. I'm just putting it out there. So yeah, I just I just wanted to say that because there's so much stupidity on the internet that treats this like it. it physical gaming is always going to give you ownership. You are spending sixty dollars to own the game digitally. All right, a license when physical is always better. At least with physical game. Physical is a license as well. I don't know. It's the same principle. You don't own the game. You own the right to play it if you have the disc, but that can actually be revoked, which is like when you get console banned from certain games. Uh, let's see. So... Where am I? I can't afford this shit! Aleph Omega with the 5. Imagine not getting the latest scene release on both your hard drive and your mega upload account. Wait, what the fuck? The fuck is that? New generation of the five. Remember when Sony took away backwards compatibility for the PS3? Dude, that just shows you what a dog shit console the PS3 was. They couldn't even get PS2 games to run on that fucking dumpster heap. I fucking despise the PS3, in case you can't tell. Like, <laughs> I fucking hate the PS3, man. I fucking hate that shit.
Honestly, it's my least favorite console I've ever owned. Agent Nibbles with the two. I still have my PSP with OG RE2 and 3 on it. Cool, man. I didn't buy it. I got it as a gift. I did not have a say in the matter. Trust me. Crusher Bad 64 with the 5. The PS5 disk drive is loud and sounds like a cheap knockoff console. Yeah, it is very loud. It was clear the PS5 was going to be a digital-only release. I agree. I think the PS6 will 100% be digital-only. I think the next Xbox will be digital-only. I didn't get it from my parents. Dude, my parents never bought me video game consoles. It was a gift from someone else. Oh, let's see... Yeah, but no. I don't know, man. I feel like digital is just... It's going to be the future. Like, look at Best Buy and look at GameStop even. They don't even have fucking games out anymore. It's like literally nothing. It's like Call of Duty, Assassin's Creed, and a couple of their AAA games, and that's about fucking it. Everything's moving digital. Games, you can trade them in after you're done. You can get, I could give a game to my homies. My brother wanted to play Final Fantasy VII Remake. I'm like, hold on, bro. You don't have to spend 60 bucks. I'll just let you borrow my copy of the game for PS4. Done. Simple as that. You can't do that really with digital unless you do game sharing, which is where you, I don't know, violate some bullshit. But anyways, back to the topic indeed, all right? Now, PlayStation 3s, PSP, PS Vita, they're shutting down the store. For the web, obviously this was going to happen at some point, right? Like, the Wii did it, I'm sure, probably not the Xbox 360 because they amalgamated all that to the Xbox One, but eventually these older systems, I'm sorry to say, we have hit a retro phase with PS3s, okay? Because of this... Yeah, what are they? Like, what? How old are they at this point? The PS3 came out in 2006, right? So, <laughs> it's like 15 years old, yeah. I'd say it's um pretty retro at this point. I, I expect PlayStation 3 games to be going through the roof. Now, this is a big deal to me because if Sony shuts down PS3, do you know the big problem with that? There's no fucking backwards compatibility, okay? Sony has always been dog shit with backwards compatibility yep. after the PS3. Let me explain this, okay? No. PS1? No, 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 no. They were not dog shit after the PS3. They were dog shit with the PS3. They literally were so dog shit with the PS3 <laughs> that they had to fucking pull it from the console. This month, like, bro, these motherfuckers over at Sony have been staying consistently just sucking dick at backwards compatibility. Like, Sony has always found a way to butcher this shit. The first PS3 ran PS2 and PS1 games? No shit. But it was so fucking bad they had to take it out of future console iterations because it caused the thing to fucking overheat and get a yellow light issue. So, no. It was not something that worked well, or else they would have kept it. Didn't have anything to backwards compatible. Moot point. PS2 had hardware to emulate, not emulate, to run PS1 games directly. PS3, when it launched, could run PS2 and PS1 games. And it overheated and got yellow light errors. Natively. It was too expensive, so eventually the PS3 started software... No, it wasn't too expensive. It was overheating issues. Emulating PS2 games, and every single PS3 can run PS1 discs. That much is true. PS4 was the start of when you couldn't run a PS1 game, even though the system was very capable of doing it. You couldn't run PS2 games. They said it was because it was expensive, but it was the overheating. Dude, there was a lot of issues. I had three PS3s get the yellow light error, and I had to pay $100 each time to get it fixed. Yeah, and the backwards compatibility was only on one version of the PS3 as well. I remember that. Like, the smaller storage size didn't have it, right? Like, bro, you cannot tell me a PS2 chip to stick in a fucking PS3 was expensive. <laughs> That's not expensive at all. That's dirt cheap. They could have just done software emulation as well. I don't know. 
Sony's just Sony has never been good at backwards compatibility. They're not good at software in general. Like PlayStation, like they suck as a software company. Like they make some decent hardware, but their software is fucking dog shit. Like, just look at the PS5 UI. They somehow found a way to take the PS4 UI, which one could argue is damn near perfect, and they made it more complicated and just more obnoxious to use. Like, I'm not a fan of the PS5 UI. I like the PS4 one a lot better. Oh, let's see. Ghost 200 with a 2. What's a good emulator to get? I like Dolphin, but I play a lot of GameCube games, so... Yeah, Dolphin's really good. Alibaba with a 10. Steam has a family share function. I lend games easy. I need to try that because I want to do that with my brother at some point. You know, might as well let me use my shit. Devin L with a 5. My family had a PS3. They got a yellow light. And it was so bad we ended up having to buy a new one. I yeah, I ended up sending mine back to Sony. It took four months to get it back. And it was like a hundred dollars to get fixed. <laughs> like, you love to fucking see it, dude. Logan M with the two. Meanwhile, I can run Quake Two on my PC, no problem. RIP console. That's right. PS Five destroyed. U generation with the five. I thought, oh, dude, I'm not doing it. I'm not fucking doing it. It's gonna get clipped. I appreciate the five dollars, bro, but I'm not doing that one. Dude, somebody shit. will try to fucking cancel me for that shit. All right, at all, unless Sony started releasing them later for twenty. Yeah, the PS4 UI is much more intuitive. The PS5, they like buried everything behind like sub menus, and it's really annoying. a fucking pop like Grand Theft Auto Vice City and Manhunt as PS2 classics. So clearly the PS4 can emulate PS2 games. Hell, if you actually hack a PS4 like I showed you on this channel, you can run PS2 games through their emulator. PS3 games are not backwards compatible. Unless you go through their streaming service online, which is bullshit to be begin with, the PS3 does not have any backwards compatible. Once those PS3s die, which they will, you won't be able to play Metal Gear Solid 4 again unless you can emulate it on PC, which right now, only 1% of gaming PCs are probably pulling it off with the highest end processors and GPUs. Most people don't have that shit. That's the problem with the PS3 dying. PS5 can at least backwards compatible PS4 games. Almost all of them as far as I've run, and I have a tons of PS4 games. If you wanted to know how much of a Sony fan I am, my physical collection for those discs should probably prove it to you. But PS3s still don't have proper backwards compatibility. And Sony, I think, doesn't even fucking care anymore. For Sony, it doesn't matter if the PS3 collection dies. And that means a lot of those exclusives are gone. It's not just Metal Gear Solid 4. It's Infamous shit. 1 and 2. All right? Really good games. In uh, infamous 1 and 2 being good games? Ooh, I wouldn't take it that far. <laughs> I had both of them. They were really disappointing. So th back in the day when Sony got fucking hacked and you couldn't use your fucking PlayStation for two months, you know, what a wonderful fucking console. Again, I love the PS3. But when you couldn't use your console for two months, their, you know, apology was to give everyone a free copy of Infamous 1 on the PS3, dude. So everybody got Infamous 1. And I remember like thinking, oh, dude, I can't play Call of Duty for two fucking months, but at least I get this shitty $20 fucking game I never gave a shit about. And I play it, and it is literally the most clunky, boring piece of shit I've ever played in my entire life. Fuck Infamous, and fuck the PS3. But Infamous Second Son was good. I like that. That was actually a good game, but yeah. Infamous 1 and 2. Nah. <laughs> that ain't it, Chief. In fact, it's t I think even the co-op content for Uncharted 3 would be lost if it doesn't get backwards compatible. There are a lot of games you're missing out on. Imagine if Xbox did the same thing. Xbox. No one is missing out not playing Infamous 1 and 2.
Xbox is great for backwards compatibility. Games like Lost Odyssey are gems on the Xbox 360. If it wasn't for Microsoft's efforts, we may have lost the better version of Final Fantasy 13 to the fucking time itself. So anyways, going forward, let's talk about... Bro, somebody's going to be like, dude, he's, it's confirmed. He's a fucking PlayStation hater. He hates the PS3. It's like, all right, whatever. I actually like the PS4. I thought it was a good console. I like the PS1 as well. That was the first ever console I played on, but the fucking PS3, dude. Fuck the PS3. Dude, Prototype is fire. Prototype is like the most underrated game series of last generation easily. Prototype is just fucking phenomenal. That is like everything you want from a superhero game. Like you felt like a fucking god playing that game. I don't know. I would love for them to actually like do a proper remaster on those. Because apparently they run like shit on Windows 10. So I was not able to buy them. So let's see. Nick Paul is good with the 5. I had to replace my PS3 three times. Same here. I got the yellow light each time because they would freeze upon starting any game. I never had that issue, but I used to get the yellow light where it would overheat and just never turn on again. The Manny team with the two, I use Xbox 360 to play old games, such as Max Payne. Yeah, backwards compatibility is cool. I think it should be a bigger focus for Sony, definitely. The Barrius with the two, he's pogging? I guess so. Age of Nibbles with the 5, this is exactly why PC players say ported to PC for preservation, but these PS fanboys have an issue with that when PC can save it when Sony won't exactly. You know, it's it's amazing how stupid the Sony fanboys are. They claim to love these games so much, but then they get fucking basically terminated forever and nobody fucking cares. It's like, oh, well, well at least they're not on PC, so, you know, another day, another W, right? Uh, Crusher Bad 64 with a 5. When I couldn't play COD on PS3, I bought COD Black Ops 2 on the Wii U, and the small player base were all nice and not trash talking each other. It was weird, lol. Dude, I remember, like, when I had the PS3 and it was down for all those months, it just made it even fucking worse. Like, all my friends still had 360s, so they were, like, just straight shitting on me, like, going, oh, you can't even fucking play online, you little pussy. Like, literally just shit talking me. So it just, like, Really, at that point, is when my hatred for the PS3 fully culminated. And I realized that this console was complete fucking dog shit. The PS3 will forever be my most hated electronic device I've ever owned in my entire life. And nothing anyone can say will ever change that. That console is complete dog shit. It was a complete fucking abortion. It should have never fucking existed. The 360 was better in every single way imaginable. It was down for three months. Dude, this is the thing. I'm trying to repress the memory. It was so bad, man. It fucking sucked. And then their, like, apology was, Oh, yeah, we know your credit card got fucking stolen. We know you weren't able to use the console. You know, you spent 500 bucks on and spent hundreds of dollars on games for. So here's a fucking $20 game that no one fucking gave a shit about. So, you know what? Enjoy Infamous 1 on your fucking PS3 you weren't able to use for the past three months. Oh, and enjoy the fucking fraudulent charges on your credit cards you have to deal with as well. Because, you know, we're such a fucking wonderful company. Fuck Sony and fuck the PS3. God, I hate that piece of shit. (laughs) Like, fuck. Dude, the PS3 can die in a fucking fire. I'm glad its memory is getting wiped from the earth. Mm. Physical media good buy and good riddance. is the real heart of the video. Believe it or not, <laughs> PlayStation 4s have a pretty big fucking problem. Now, if you don't know, PlayStation 4s, like all devices, have a CMOS battery on the motherboard. This is on every motherboard. This computer right here, if you can see it, has a CMOS battery in it. Eventually, those batteries die. 
which they will 100% of the time. To replace those batteries doesn't take too much effort. You order a new one, you switch it out, done. Now, if you don't follow a Twitter account known as Does It Play for software preservation and emulation and all that stuff like I do, you probably should. It's a shame they only have 3,000 followers. They totally deserve a lot more support. They've made a fact on something called the C-bomb in this case. Now, if you don't know, all right, Lance McDonald discovered this entire situation called Error CE348780, okay? Where if a PlayStation 4 CMOS battery dies, and it 100% will, it will render all the digital files unplayable and even, believe it or not, the ability to run disks in that fashion. Now, a CMOS battery exists in everything. If you can see this computer, it exists on this. It exists on almost any other board you can find. A CMOS battery... All right, let's see. So, Navarius with the two, he's a weird champing, I guess. I don't know, man. You e generation with the five prototype one was amazing. The second sucked. I don't know. Personally, I enjoyed both of them. I thought they were both very different games. But I don't know. I thought both of them were pretty solid. ODST's 1790, or not 17, fuck, 795 with the three. I don't think Griffin likes the PS3. Really? What made, <laughs> what made you think that, man? I love the PS3. It's the greatest console of all time. I fucking love it, dude. I can't afford it's an amazing this console. The Manny team with the I five. Not gonna lie, the 360 is still the best console since Sony took away backwards compatibility. But if you want to play PS3 with backwards compatibility, you need the OG PS3. Yeah, that's the thing. It was so shit they had to get rid of it in the future. <laughs> I don't know, man. The PS3 is just a walking fucking L. The 360 is by far, like, the best video game console, I think, of all time. It's up there with the GameCube for me. Those are my two favorite consoles I've ever owned. Battery is there to keep... Halo 3 beats all PS3 exclusives in the dirt on its own. 100% agree. The PS3 exclusives were trash. I remember some dude, like, going, Oh, dude, you can actually play Uncharted. Like, it was the one time where people were actually envious that I could have, like, a fucking game on the PS3 that they didn't have on their 360, and it was Uncharted. And I, <laughs> I remember I bought that shit, dude. I remember I bought it, and within three hours, I already fucking returned it to GameStop. I hated that fucking game. I don't, like, that game was so boring to me. I don't, like, I've never really been that big of an Uncharted fan. Uncharted 3 was the only one I could actually, like, bring myself to complete. <laughs> like, that was it. The rest of them, I just got so bored. I was like, yeah, fucking, I'm returning this, or I'll trade it in. Never beat Uncharted 1. Never beat Uncharted 2. Uncharted 3 was the only one I completed. Then I was like, yeah, fuck this. Gears of War looks so much better. Like, Gears of War made Uncharted... <laughs> <laughs> like a fucking, like it's like comparing a fucking first world country to like a fucking Saharan village or some shit with like straw huts. Like Gears of War was like an advanced, like futuristic city that was like really awesome. It looked fucking badass. It played amazing. And then you had fucking Uncharted, which was like some bootleg Walmart copy of cover base shooting. I don't know. I can't afford this shit! <laughs> like... <laughs> I don't I like the PS3. I can't afford this shit! <clears throat> I can't so, afford this So, Vendetta shit! 1 with the 2. Ever played Dark Sector? Awesome game. No, I didn't play that. What console was that even on? Agent Nibbles of the 2. Name your top 3 GameCube games. Um, Probably Super Smash Brothers Melee, obviously. Mario Party. I can't remember the night. Like the exact number. Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. I fucking love that game. But I have a lot of GameCube games I like. Those are just three I can think of right now. Crusher Bad 64 with a 5. Sony released the PlayStation Classic. That's how much Sony cares about older games. And yeah, they didn't they throw in like the European version of the games too, which run at like 50 frames per second? So it was like they literally just fucking shit out a steaming pile of hot garbage and slapped the like $100 price tag on it. Like, dude, Sony Sony literally does not give a fuck about old games at all. Because they're not making money from them. Nobody buys them. Jordan with the 2, can Nintendo give us Super Mario Sunshine 2? Probably not. 
I don't think um Sunshine's that popular. Didn't like most people hate Sunshine back in the day? Like it was one of the worst received Mario games ever. How did I wait, Griffin? Stop holding back. How did you really feel about the PS3? I feel like the PS3 should have died in the showers of Auschwitz. Is that clear enough? All the PS3 should be rounded up, put on a train, taken to Auschwitz, and put under the showers. And just gas them. Fuck the PS3. <laughs> like, <laughs> fuck the PS3, dude. I hate the PS3. That console should be exterminated from history. Dude, I'm gonna be like the, I'm gonna be like Hitler, but you know I'm just gonna kill all the PS3s. <laughs> yeah, the PS3 Holocaust. <laughs> That's right, man. I'm gonna lead the PS3 Holocaust. You heard it here first. That power alive for that system, and it's 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 an integral system part. Okay, basically, when it dies, and it, you have to remember, it will die. Replacing it isn't that big of an issue. I can open up a PS4 right now and I can replace those CMOS batteries for you. What makes it a pretty big issue is if you don't have an internet connection or if PlayStation Network goes down for whatever reason, uh, which could be a possibility, we can, you cannot can fix that system, shit. okay? It is gone forever. All right, terrible engineering choice. Basically, if that CMOS battery oh, dies shit, initially I didn't replacing finish reading. it, so the Aussie guy or the guy Aussie with the four, remember PS3 Haze, the Halo killer? I do remember that. It was dog shit, like most PS3 games. So D Vendetta one with the five Dark Sector is on Steam and it was in 360 and PS3. The guy who made Warframe made it. Also, do you ever play Darkness one and two? Yeah, I love the Darkness two. That's a great game. Very underrated. You generation with the five, have you ever watched the video of the guy that got his penis stuck in an Xbox 360 disc tray? Watch it, bro. If you haven't seen it, I've seen it, yeah. I remember I that. I can't afford this shit! Alibaba with the 10. I can't get behind that I retro. This I can get shit! behind that. Retroactive genocide of the PS3. Dude, fuck the PS3. I've been chiefing with the two. The PS3, like Japan, should have been. Wait, what the fuck? Should have been nuked like Japan? Yeah, if only, like, the U.S., instead of just nuking Japan, they just nuked the fucking PS3 factory. That would have been preferable. <laughs> that would have been... Because then it would have been in China, too, so... Double W. <laughs> Jonathan Perez with the two. Did you or your friend... cool system i, I always wanted one it's just like shit. i couldn't afford one back in the day so you know it'd be I like that as a young elementary school student i didn't really have enough to drop 400 on the fucking xbox unfortunately but my friend had one in my neighborhood and we used to go over there and play halo 2 all the time awesome console the manny team with the two i use raspberry pi as my ps1 and i thought about getting one of those i don't know Cancelled for saying I want to kill all PlayStation 3s. You know? <laughs> like, could you imagine if somebody actually was, like, going, Oh my god, dude, he wants to kill all the PlayStation 3s. Like, Jesus Christ. So even if you have the discs like I do, you won't be able to run them if, if PSN goes down or you don't have an internet connection, okay? I understand the likelihood of that shit is almost zero, but it shows you that... The these systems were designed very terribly and almost with some sort of planned obsolescence, all right? I'm not saying that Sony intended for this shit to happen, but it's pretty fucking ironic that when you look back at their E3 reveal, when they were showing how willy-nilly they were compared to Xbox sharing discs around, that this shit eventually surfaced. Now, let's go about the C-bomb. They have four jot points. Console features an internal clock, all right? Once that CMOS battery dies, that clock gets really I fucked with. That clock is usually shit. designed to verify if you can access digital content. I so imagine if you're pre-ordering a game, right? You know how on consoles, when you pre-order a game, it tells you, hey, can't you can't play the game because it isn't out yet. That's because it is checking. How could I, man? I, I don't know. 
How dare I want to kill an inanimate or a fucking inanimate I can't object? This shit. shit. Just what a horrible human being, right? I want to kill an inanimate object. Yeah, this part's pretty boring. I I really don't give a shit about the fucking motherboard. Like, I honestly don't care if every PS3 gets fucking just permanently dead. <laughs> the PS3 has no sympathy for me. Isn't that great? Their fucking internal clocks are going to kill them all. <laughs> Agent Nibbles of the Two, did you ever have a Halloween LAN party? I've never had a LAN party in my entire life. And specifically never at Halloween either. The wall with the 10. How you doing, Griff? Thanks for your advice on getting into Pokemon cards. Just made 10k on cards this month. Best pulls were Charizard GX, Hidden Fates, Charizard VMAX, Shining Fates, and Lily Ultra Prism. Oh, did you get that um, Charizard graded? Because one of those just sold for, I think, four grand the other night. So, yeah, you should definitely send that in. I missed your chat. One second. Yeah, Alibaba with the 10 stream. It takes two gameplay with Alenity co-op. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't think it's horny hours yet. Elliot with the 5. I miss how edgy Xbox used to be. I agree, man. I don't know why the fuck Microsoft wants to make it all like fucking PG-13 bullshit. Like, who cares? Let it be toxic. Oh, let's see. Yalwin Kales the 10 digital is amazing updates mods fixing and making games playable for decades later literally look at GOG's games from the 80s and tell me physical is better it's as dumb as hell argument I agree like I'm not one of these fucking physical dick riders I wholeheartedly agree that digital is perfectly fine I do not believe the fucking fear mongering bullshit of an all digital future is scary like, no, I, I don't fucking believe that. But, you know, if they're on PC at least, let's put it that way. If every game releases on PC digitally, we have nothing to worry about. Let's put it that way. Agent Nibbles of the Two, phone autocorrected Halo to Halloween? What the fuck? But no, I never had a LAN party. But that would make more sense. I was about to say, why fucking Halloween? I don't know. Paladin Juan with a two plot twist. Griffin loves the PS3. That's pure cap. I I assure you. What's that clip of Trump? Like when he, <laughs> when the dude insulted his fucking hand size. <laughs> and he goes like, I assure you there is no problem or whatever. It's like that shit. I assure you there is no problem. I fucking hate the PS3. More spam? Yeah, they're gone. The kernel time. All right, this is the time that the system has memorized since it was created and powered on and sent out to everyone. If that time gets miffed, the system has no ability to verify if you actually own the content. Normally for digital, that shit makes sense. Why the fuck they ban you from playing the physical discs makes no sense. When you can play physical versions of games like I have before their release dates just by plugging them in. So what does this actually fucking mean? It means that at the end of the day, unless the PS4 is able to be 100% emulated on a PC, they will risk 100% death unless this problem is alleviated. Now, if you have a jailbroken PlayStation 4 like I do, you can kind of fix this. In fact, if you have a jailbroken system in general, PS3 or PS4, PSP, Vita... Griffin Grooming Gang? That's right, man. GGG for life. Yeah, you Why are his eyes so dark? He probably doesn't sleep like me, man. The gaming lifestyle of YouTube has you staying up as late as fucking humanly possible. It's just the way it is. It's just the way it is, dude. The gaming lifestyle has you up late at night. But yeah, in case I didn't mention this enough, fuck the PS3. You can fix this, but most people may not- I wonder how much a PS3 costs. Like, I'm almost like debating buying one so I can fucking throw it off a building. <laughs> like...
<laughs> that shit would be great. I have the access to do that, all right? PS4s, it's getting tougher, all right? It, yeah, I'm a, breathing. It sounds like battle. I'm breathing heavily because I'm, like, literally up on my fucking mic right now. So, like, everything sounds louder. The fact that this exists like poses a severe issue to everyone who owns a system and believes that they own their discs. Because, quite honestly, it's not the discs that are the problem. Yeah, I'm it's subscribed to him as well. Like, I don't have a problem with this video at all. I just hate the PS3. ...console itself. PlayStation 4s... By, def by default, have been designed with a fail, time bomb, whatever you want to call it. Whether it's intentional or not, I don't really care. I just think it's wrong. Now, the system also extends to the PlayStation 3. Uh, Hikori YT Oh, God, actually... I'm getting, like, fucking PTSD looking at this shitty interface. Oof. <laughs> Bruh. I don't want to fucking look at this shit, dude. I don't want to fucking look at this. This is like triggering to me. I fucking hate, dude. That's the dashboard. That is the PS3 dashboard, bro. It's so bad. It's so fucking bad. We posted this video that you can watch Ugh. right now. This is a system with a dead. Look at this shit, dude. This is your games menu. It literally just had a fucking vertical list of every <laughs> of every single fucking game you downloaded in no specific order whatsoever. And like all of these, so like if you crop it right here, all right? Everything over to the left is all the fucking Blu-ray UI. So everything from this side over is the PS3 exclusive UI. And everything else over here and to the left, which there's more over there, is the fucking Blu-ray player UI. Like, that is how fucking dog shit this console was. PRAM or CMOS battery. They changed the date on it, and when they try to launch a game... Like, all look, right, just, all of these things I are out of order. Parasite Eve. Ram or like, CMOS look, battery. Ratchet and Clank they is the first the game on, on the list. Or Castle of Illusion, whatever. But look, it's in no fucking alphabetical game. order all right, at all. Just watch real. <laughs> it's it's so fucking bad. Quick, they're trying to launch whatever. P it could be a PS One game like Parasite Eve. Bam, error right there. Okay, done. You have to set it via the internet. Now, I don't think this relies on PSN. I think you can just set it up via the internet, anyways. But um, yeah, you can see it's a problem that goes all the way back. It might even exist directly on the PS Five too. Ladies and gentlemen, these systems are designed with a with a with a with with a time limit, okay, with a time span. And it's not something I'm okay with, all right? When I own systems, when I own games, I want to actually own the fucking game. I love Sony, I love PlayStation, but you got to call them out when they fuck up real hard. And this in my opinion is a pretty big fuck up. When you look at Sony in the past, they're also pretty anti-consumer to an extent too. When the PlayStation 3s were starting to get initial that's putting it lightly. ...jailbroken. Sony did a knee-jerk reaction and pulled Linux, which was a selling point on the PS3 for a reason, and they ripped that out completely. They had a big class-action lawsuit. Who cares about Linux? And... Like, serious question. Who here actually uses Linux? Sony clearly doesn't really care about this. They don't have an issue. Uh, obviously, nobody's really raising a stink about this. Well, they are, but I mean, I guess I guess you can stick your head down into the sand when it's really what it is about. But at the end of the day, I, I don't consider this to be that big of an issue if Sony at least acknowledges this. And by acknowledge, why is Linux so hated? It's not hated. The thing that's hated about Linux is the people who sit there and act like Windows is fucking dog shit when it's not. The fucking Linux master race people are fucking cringe. It, I want Sony to at least deliver a patch that can fix this on not just the PS3, but the PlayStation 4 and the various systems that are affected. As long as they can patch this issue out and at least make these systems run with... Like, people will act like Windows 10 is literally the fucking worst operating system on planet Earth, which is a complete fucking lie. <laughs> and... They'll be like, well, huh, on Linux, I don't have to install Skype. It's like, you don't have to install Skype on Windows. You can delete it. Well, there's a lot of bloatware that eats up space on your hard drive. What, like three gigabytes? Holy shit. Please.
please tell me more about how my life is going to be changed by having a fucking Linux. I don't like. I don't fucking know, man. I just. This <laughs> shit pisses me off. It's like they act like Windows is literally the worst fucking thing to exist. And it's like, just shut the fuck up, honestly. It's not bad. I don't know. I just hate disingenuous fucks. Like, I don't give a shit if you prefer using Linux. Like, fucking do it. But the people who are, like, actively out here going, like, fucking Windows 10 is a cancer to the fucking computer market. How could you fucking use that shit when you could easily run a fucking version of Wine on your fucking computer? It's like, shut the fuck up, dude. No one cares. We had, like, some dude in Discord like that. And, like, every single fucking time you mention anything about PCs, he would bring up Linux. And it's like, dude, just go fucking comb your neck beard or some shit. No one fucking cares. I don't know. Like, those are the people that piss me off. It's like, who even give... Like, I just don't give a shit. <laughs> it's just irritating. Like, the fucking Linux Master Race people just piss me off. Legit. Alright, so let me read some of these super chats real quick. So... I think I read that one... So crazy crack at eight three one with the two spammers getting sent to the showers with the PS threes, nah, only the PS threes, man. It's a punishment reserved only for the PlayStation three. Special Force one one seven with the two. Finally, someone who doesn't blindly show for Sony. Yeah, they're very rare on YouTube. Very rare. Oski Waski with the two from Griffin's Tone. I can tell he loves the PS three, dude. I fucking love it, man. What can I say? The PS3 is the greatest video game console of all time. Facts. Y'all win Kales with the five. My chat was aimed at anyone here who believes what Mudahar is spewing in that video about physical slash digital. My bad if it came out aggressive towards you. No, you're good, man. No worries. Jaden Thomas with the five. I'm in college and I have my GameCube and Xbox 360 S in the main room. Being able to play out there. And move into my room on my Xbox One X is great. Yeah. Dude, I kind of wish I would have kept the 360. Just for nostalgia purposes. But, eh, it's whatever. I'd probably never use it, to be honest. So, it's probably better I didn't, like, waste money on it. But, yeah. Without an internet connection? Then it's all fine with me. I don't care if I can't unlock... No, I didn't have a blindfold on for 10 minutes. It's just when people spam in the chat over and over again, I ignore it. Same applies a trophy fuck i don't care if i can't download a game from the store as long as the system isn't totally a goddamn brick i'm completely fine with that ladies and gentlemen this is all i really have to say if you like what you saw please like comment and subscribe just like it if you dislike it i am out i can't afford this shit i can't afford this shit yeah dude yong yeah is insufferable <laughs> like, I fucking hate Yong, yeah. Jesus Christ. Almost as much as the PS3. Did Griffin say why he hates the PS3? Yes. Just yes is the answer. I hate the PS... I basically hate everything about the PS3. <laughs> That's the best way to put it. Devastator 2000 with D2. Griffin Gaming, the PS3 Slayer. That's right. I will single-handedly wipe out the entire population of PS3s known to mankind. I can't afford this shit! None will exist when I'm finished. <laughs> Oski Woski with the two. Griffin is the Joker and society is the PS3. I don't know, man. The Joker's not too effective. I'm going to be like Genghis Khan. Just going through and just killing every single fucking PS3 in sight. Almost soon with the three. Griffin, want to take a shot with me again? Hope you're well. Nah, I'm probably good tonight because what time is it? It's almost two. So I've been going for almost four hours. I don't know. I'll see. But yeah, everything's going well, dude. Everything is going well. Oh, yeah, it's over. There. Who do you want to watch next? Let's see what's on the front page.
<laughs> he uploaded another fucking thing. Jesus Christ, dude. He knows no shame. The Barrys with a two. Watch Scott of the Wands' Xbox 360 versus PS3 video. Is it going to piss me off? Like, is it <laughs> the fucking PS3, man? That shit just triggers me. I don't know why. Alibaba with the 10. Watch Nintendo still killing Mario 3D by Yong Ya. Yeah. All right, yeah, we can take a look. That may be it. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. You generation with 100? What the fuck, dude? Damn, thanks so much, man. Really appreciate that. Go all night, bro. I don't I think... Dude, I got to get up in the morning, which kind of sucks, but yeah. I wish I, I could. That'll be nice. Like, I'll have a couple months when I'm done with college to, like, just kind of do whatever. So maybe we'll do, like, a 24-hour stream or some shit. I don't know. We'll have to see. I'll have to line up a bunch of shit to watch, though. Uh, Doobie McNasty with a 50? Damn, dude. What the fuck? You guys are going crazy. Appreciate it. My Series X has been amazing aside from Cold War, which is okay because I'm kind of sick of COD anyway. I'm going to buy a PS5 and build a PC as well, though. Options are never bad. Shit. That they are not, man. You know, it's good to have... Like, honestly, I don't think there's anything wrong with having multiple platforms. You know, get whatever the fuck you want. Like, personally, I have all the consoles, and I have a PC as well, so... Definitely can't hurt. But appreciate it, man. Thanks so much. Lucas M with a three next Doom mod PS3 places demons, <laughs> dude. I would like probably pay for that. I would pay for that fucking shit. I would absolutely pay for that. So let's see what the Mario thing still killing baffles the internet. How does it baffle them? They said it's a limited time release. The reason it sold so well is because everybody knew they had to go out and buy it immediately. Nintendo. Their games are widely beloved, but some of their decisions tend to be questionable or nonsensical. And this certainly is the case with their decisions surrounding Super Mario 3D All-Stars. A game that was announced back in September 3rd, 2020 and released shortly thereafter on September 18th, 2020. And you can see right here that the triple pack will see each game optimized for Nintendo Switch. The trio will... Special Force 117 with the two. Do you get the donations from Super Chats? Yeah, I do. YouTube takes a cut of it, but that's like every single platform. So, yeah, I get them. I do. They just get lumped into my um, ad revenue for the month. They, like, stick it on top of whatever your videos are. The voice is so cancer. I don't, dude, I just, I don't get what the rage is about this. Like, honestly, Nintendo came out and said, it's a limited time thing. You can buy it now, and you're good. The end. I don't really see a problem with the limited time release. Resolutions and smoother gameplay performance. Or just go buy a copy, and then you'll have it forever. It's basically a port of three old Mario games packaged into one product. You can see from the Metascore here that reception was generally positive, but people did complain that this felt like a very low effort port. They didn't do enough to enhance the games that they brought onto Switch, whether it's, you know, visual enhancement. Yeah, Mario 64 is damn near unplayable. I'm just throwing that out there or whether it's quality of life additions and new features and whatever people that camera is so fucking shit would have just love for nintendo to take that extra step to make this package that much more compelling but we did get three really good mario games in one package so at least there's that and we get to play it in portable format on switch but one caveat that the internet and people in general still cannot wrap their heads around is the time limit that Nintendo has imposed on this game. If you go to the official website of Super Mario 3D All-Stars, you can see right here, available for purchase through March 31st, 2021, while supplies last. This was something that was announced when this package was first announced. That was almost six months ago. And further detailing this is this listing on the Nintendo website. 
that reads the physical version of Super Mario 3D All-Stars released September 18th will continue to be shipped to retailers and available for purchase through March 31st, 2021 or while supplies last. The digital edition has from your if you don't purchase this dude he is so boring. Holy shit. Let me read the description of the game on the listing of the website. The physical version of Super Mario 3D All-Stars released September 18th will continue to be shipped to retailers and available for purchase through March 31st, 2021 or while supplies last. The digital edition will be available through March 31st, 2021. Once the digital edition has been purchased on your Nintendo account, it can be re-downloaded and played if deleted from your advice. What a fucking great video. Jesus Christ. It's true that if you already bought the game, then you'll have it forever. But if you don't purchase this game by March 31st, 2021, your opportunity to get this package is... I sound like a robot? Yeah, that was the point. It's gone forever or until Nintendo changes their mind, which so far they've shown no signs of doing. And the reason this is all coming up again is because, well... Six months have almost oh, gone by. going to read another by. article. This is an article published on March 24th, 2021 that reads, This is it. Nintendo kills Super Mario 3D All-Stars in one week. As of the publishing of this video, March 27th... Wow, the dude. The guy who wrote a fucking article can read? How amazing. The 31st is, you know, 28, 29, 30, 31. Just... Four days away, and there's literally no good reason to justify this decision. As yes, there is, because the sense of urgency pushed more people to go out to buy this collection than normally would have, shit. knowing that once it's gone, it's fucking gone. So even people who didn't own a Switch yet went out and purchased this game because they thought, oh, dude, it's going to be impossible for me to find it later. It's a very smart marketing move. But, you know, Alibaba with the 10 told you this video is great. I don't lead astray. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, no, this is big brained. Waski Waski with the two. It's like sitting through and hearing my teach. <laughs> Damn. I'm sorry, man. Gilherm Solda with the R5. Maybe the physical would be limited because of scarcity of hardware, like memory chips shit. online is because fast money. Yep, exactly. It's a marketing I tactic. I don't blame Nintendo shit. for wanting to do it. Like, shit, you do this type of stuff all the time if you're a company. Like, look at every single limited release product ever fucking made. <laughs> like, every single collector's edition that's ever come out. You know, is a limited time thing. Once they're gone, they're fucking gone. You can never get another one. Or look at, like, limited release shoes. Like, all that shit sells out instantly. It's great marketing. Crappy post of the five. Hey, Griff, how are you? I finished university now. We had to... Now, we had to hear grades online. But the teachers were 20 minutes late, and not all of them showed up. Damn. I mean, congrats on finishing, man. That's awesome. I'm glad you're done. I will be joining in a couple months. I will be completely finished in, I think, June. So, fingers crossed. But congrats, man. Happy to hear that. Doobie McNasty with the 50? Damn, bro. Thanks so much. Nothing like listening to you roast the amazing Lucas while at work. I could slap anyone through the screen. Wait, if I could slap anyone through the screen, he'd be the second right behind Adam Schiff. Dude, the thing is with Amazing Lucas is like I have never seen a man so desperately trying to be funny. Like it's sad. He's trying so hard to act funny and it's just fucking not. Like it's pitiful. It's like your fucking boomer parents trying to act like they're hilarious or like talk about internet jokes or show you memes or whatever. It's just pitiful. 
like it's really just sad you feel bad for him but at the same time it's just so fucking awful to watch Especially considering that this game has been performing incredibly well, selling more than 8 million copies in 2020, more specifically 8.32 million units as of February 8th, 2021, with that number probably being higher now. This game's selling, it's doing really well. And now they're gonna take it away on March 31st? The only reason I can see Nintendo doing this is to create that sense of FOMO so that people will rush. Yeah, it's called a marketing move. Rock for Glory with a two, you should look up Bumpkin and do a collab with him. I can see, what, like, what type of content does he make? To buy this game in the days leading up to that deadline, knowing that this product may never come back, I play baseball. Vaping made it hard. Oh no, to play. dude! Vaping. As an athlete, you have to focus. Having As something an that athlete, you're addicted you have to, to focus. It takes away from that focus. It take. Actually, no, it doesn't, because nicotine is more effective than caffeine at helping you feel focused, which is a complete fucking lie. Nicotine is more effective if you want to focus than caffeine, but no. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's so fucking stupid. I mean, like, I swear to God, nothing has made me want to buy a fucking cigarette more in my entire life than a fucking anti-smoking ad. Like, they literally are better marketing tactics to get people to fucking smoke <laughs> than the cigarette companies could ever hope to be. Special Force 117 with the 5, when people stereotype Asians as smart, they are confusing education with common sense, and perception with education does not equate the two, lol. Well, I think it's because, like, Asians in general have a higher average IQ. Like, I think the highest IQ by group... Ah, shit. It's either Asians or Jewish people. They're, like, number one for highest average IQ. And that's where that, like, fucking stereotype comes from or whatever. But, yeah, like, it's, like, an actual fact. Average IQ-wise, I think either Asians or Jewish people are number one. I can't remember. I don't know. I can't afford this shit! It's, but that's the reason why. Crappy post with a five. Also, it's, like, a cultural thing. Like, they really fucking stress grades, so... Yeah, the stereotype's true. Like, that's one of those stereotypes that is true. Like, on average, Asians are smarter than most other races. Like, it's tr just true. Crappy post of the five. Also, life is a timed, <laughs> limited release. But I don't hear people complaining about that. Laugh my ass. Exactly, man. Why don't I get to experience World War 15? Like, what the fuck, dude? How could they do this shit to me? Ad makes me want to buy a jewel. That's the reason I bought one. <laughs> like, not even a joke. And sure, we might see a spike in sales, but in the long term, this feels detrimental for both Nintendo and the customers. Mario games tend to sell consistently for a very long stretch of time. And so for them to limit Super Mario 3D All-Stars life cycle to just six months... Indians are getting out there? That's, like, part of Asia. India counts as Asian. Just so you know. So. Bro, why the fuck are you trying to get me clipped off of YouTube, man? Like, I appreciate the five, man, but I'm not, I'm not reading that shit. I can't this <laughs> Somebody's shit. gonna take that and actually try to get me fucking banned. I like, I get it's a joke, but it's shit. like, that's just gonna cause me problems. Gilherm sold it with the two, the bell curve studies book, fact. I mean, I guess, yeah. Like, the thing is, it's like, you know, you can make the generalizations. Like, sure, there's going to be outliers, but it's like an undeniable fact. On average, Asian people are smarter than most other races. Like, that's why they get accepted into um, colleges higher than any other race on average. Like, their acceptance rate for college is higher. In fact, I think there was even a thing a while back, like, one college got busted for discriminating against Asian people 
by saying we cannot accept Asian people because, you know, they're like disproportionately accepted or whatever, even though they were more qualified to get accepted. So I don't know. It's just pretty stupid. Was it Harvard? Yeah, okay. Yeah, one of those, like, you know, super fucking PC, you know, race, we're blind to color bullshit schools. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. The most fucking, you know, accepting, you know, race has, or racism has no place here. I don't know. No, nah, you don't have to delete the donos like that. You can just leave them. I'm just not going to read them. Like, if you want to, like, post that shit, that's fine. Like, you know, it'll be seen, but I'm not reading shit like that out loud. That's just going to cause me problems. Doobie McNasty with a 15 going to be so salty if they release Halo Infinite on short notice. Laugh my ass off. I know if they shadow drop it, I'm going to fucking, like, literally go to my Minecraft server and kill every single fucking villager. Like, no one will survive. <clears throat> a Halo Infinite Shadow Drop. I want more. Bring Halo back to the videos. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. I I don't get the rage of getting something early. That makes no sense to me. It feels like a disservice. Switch owners who haven't been able to buy this game, or future Switch owners who maybe are buying a Switch and buying games after March 31st, won't get a chance to buy this game. Give Nintendo money and play three really good games. Then buy it now. And Nintendo's going to be missing out on all those sales throughout the course of years Obviously and years don't that give a Switch shit. will still be active. I mean, this console isn't going away anytime soon. It's you know still consistently the best-selling console every single month. The Switch Pro is set to come out by holiday of 2021. There is potential for this game's sales to rise above that much more. If this game were to stay on sale for Switch's entire lifespan... I have no doubt that these numbers could go significantly higher. So even from a business decision, this doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Not to mention all the negative PR that Nintendo is generating from all this. In fact, uh, people recognizing that March 31st is just days away have dubbed March 31st as the day Mario dies because Nintendo is removing Super Mario 3D All-Stars. How many times does he have to read the same fucking thing, dude? We get it. We fucking get it, bro. The Mandy team with the two. I got you, bro. Appreciate it, man. Super Mario Brothers 35 and more from the eShop. And that's another product, Super Mario Brothers 35, which is this free-to-play Mario 2D platforming battle royale. That's actually really interesting. And while I don't know what the player base of that looks like, it's a really cool concept, actually, and something that has resonated with a lot of people. That's going away, too. As your gamer reported here on the September 3rd article, the game will run from October 1st, 2020 to March 31st, 2021. Now, after March 31st, there are going to be two ways that you can still get Mario 3D All-Star. March 31st, there are going to be two ways that you can still get Mario 3D All-Star. First, it's just that Nintendo isn't making additional retail codes, but those are all so fun to watch. Did it crash or whatever? Just refresh. That's fresh. That's fine. Just refresh it, you'll be fine. It's, very it's just YouTube. They have issues every once in a while. Surprised we've gone like four hours with it only doing it once. So... I can't afford this shit! Daniel Tiger with the five? This dude is such a chad, I had to unsubscribe. <laughs> Damn. It do be like that sometimes. Yeah, just refresh it. Motherfucker's still spamming F when it's fine. Okay, bro. Limited in supply, especially in the video games. Yeah, landscape. it always happens. YouTube has this issue.
Ape. That's right, scalpers will swoop in, hoard as much of that supply. <laughs> dude, he's already on his fucking scalper rant. Oh, dude, the fucking scalpers. That's right, me and my 15 copies of Super Mario All-Stars sealed in protective cases right now. We'll be very happy in three years when this game is very hard to find. <laughs> when it is very tough to find this game, I will be very happy. Because I have 15 copies sitting in a box <laughs> waiting to fucking resell. So, GG, unlucky motherfucker. But, yeah. You know, that's just called being smart. This game went on sale for like 40 bucks and I just bought a fuck ton of copies. So, yeah. I got it. Uh, Steven Robinson with the five Griffin. Thanks to your amazing Lucas videos. Now, every time I hear someone say game pass, I'm actually hearing Lucas g -g -g game pass in my skull. That's right, man. That shit hits to the very fucking core. It resonates through your entire fucking skeleton. Jesus Christ. Yong punching air right now. That's right. My scalpers, dude. Yeah. How dare people want to make money? Where'd you buy it for 40? I think it was on Best Buy's like deal of the day for like 40 bucks. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think it was Best Buy. It's either Best Buy or Amazon. Buy as possible and sell it back through gray markets like eBay at exorbitant prices. Currently, there isn't a market for Mario 3D All-Star scalping because supply is literally infinite. You can just download it digitally, buy it digitally. But with Nintendo limiting that supply both physically and digitally, after March 31st, you can expect eBay to be populated with Mario 3D All-Stars listings. And Nintendo... No, it won't be because stores will still have fucking copies. It's like he doesn't even understand how the shitty fucking hates works. I don't know. Well, I mean, it's pretty obvious that Yong Ya has no fucking clue what he's talking about half the time. Or Asriel with a 2, it's not smart, just capitalism. I mean, it's called being smart, though. Like, you're analyzing a market opportunity and capitalizing on it. Like, I don't know. I Like, I have no problem with scalpers. Make your money. Honestly. I don't care. I can wait. I don't have to have everything, like, immediately. Lucas M with a 3 ever played Serious Sam? I did. I liked the... F I played the fourth one, and it wasn't that great, but I heard it got a lot better after release, so... They just acted normally and sold Mario 3D All-Stars for all of Switch's life cycle. All of this also raises questions about game preservation. As a game gets older and older, and as the consoles that those games run on get older and older, they're going to be harder to find, they're going to be just harder to access in general, which is why it's always a good thing when companies think of ways to implement backwards compatibility and forward compatibility, which Xbox has been doing a great job at, but not so much with Nintendo, who have this huge catalog of virtual console titles, and their implementation of that has been so extremely poor. Virtual console purchases from past consoles don't carry over to Switch, and Switch currently cannot play a lot of these games from NES, SNES, N64, and GameCube era. There is like a virtual console element attached to their Switch Online subscription, but that's a very limited selection. And so to play games like Mario 64 and Mario Sunshine and Mario Galaxy on Switch on an official capacity, while well, this package is the only way currently for these specific games, and now Nintendo's limiting that. So if there's one thing you should take away from this video, if you do not have at least one sealed copy of this game just sitting in a box somewhere, you are making a mistake. That's the only thing you should take away from this video. Doobie McNasty with the 15. Appreciate it, bro. Thanks so much. Capitalism is for winners. I agree, man. I love capitalism. Dude, fuck commies. Like, for real. Motherfuckers are mad because bad. Mad because they're fucking bad. Like, literally anyone can make money now. Like, you can make a shit ton of money basically doing anything on the internet. And people are just mad that they're not smart shit. enough to capitalize on it. Like, you have dudes making seven figures reselling shit. shit. <laughs> it's like, that's fucking great. Go for it. Like, make your money, bro. 
Go out there and, like, go fucking kill it. Sell shit to people who want to pay for it. Like, that's fucking great. So, Daniel Tiger with the five. I used to have an issue with scalpers. Then I remember I sold overpriced toilet paper to people at the start of COVID. Yeah, I flipped. Um, I went to Home Depot when all the N95 either masks either were getting bought up. Get nobody out. bought, like, the dust filters. Like, the shit. regular ass masks. So, they weren't the N95 ones. They were just the regular, like, dust, ma or dust masks. So I bought a shit ton of those for like $2 each. They were like really high quality ones and I just stuck them up on eBay and I was making 20 bucks a piece on them. It's like, fuck. <laughs> Go for it. Who gives a shit? Like, I don't know. Like, you could literally walk into the fucking store and buy the mask. Like, they weren't even sold out. I bought like 10 of them. They probably had like 100 I bought 10 of them, I stuck them up on eBay, and they sold instantly. And it's like, what the f You could have just walked into the fucking store and bought them. But that's the thing. People were afraid to leave their house. <laughs> so they were paying more just because they would ship get shipped to them instead of them just walking to fucking Home Depot and getting it. So, you know, you have to look at it that way. There are some people that are just so fucking stupid and lazy that they will pay you a shit ton of money for something that they could get for much cheaper just for convenience. So that's kind of the way to look at scalping. You're just connecting a product with someone who values it more than what you paid for it. Because if people didn't value something at the price that you're scalping it for, then no scalper would ever make money. The people who are buying PS5s for $800 obviously feel like the console to them is worth 800 bucks. Or else they wouldn't fucking buy it. So there's no need to feel guilty about buying something and selling it to someone for a price they're willing to pay for it. Because obviously they value that item to the extent they're willing to pay for it. I don't know. But like, that's the thing. You can make money doing anything. JC on with a five. Rather pay 500 for three games than $100 for a Zoom call with it. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. I would never want to pay $100 for a fucking Zoom call with Yong, yeah. Jesus Christ. Steven either, Robinson either, either with the tier one. Appreciate it, man. Thanks so out. much. Just popped up, too. Shit. Oh, no, that was somebody else. Um, Shashwat? I hope I said that right. Do you do your own plumbing? <laughs> no, dude, I live in an apartment. If I have an issue, I just call the front desk and they come fix it. Any sore with the two? Hello Kitty X Animal Crossing Cards Scalped. Yong woke. <laughs> That's right, man. Fucking triggered. So Serpentane with the five. Hey hi Griff, not to change the subject, but how did the interview go? It actually went really well. I had my second round one, went really well, so I'm waiting to hear back. But so far so good. Hopefully it works out. But yeah, I had a really good feeling after it. Appreciate you asking. Dewey McNasty with the 15. Damn, bro. Thanks so much. Really appreciate it. I bought a bunch of water for my neighbors during Snowmageddon here in Austin. Now all the wives are way too friendly with me. That may not be a bad thing unless they're ugly, but, you know, it'd be like that. I don't know. That could be a blessing or a curse. Daniel Tiger with the tier two. Appreciate it, man. Thanks so much that as well this yeah dude you can't blame the scalpers when there's dumb people fucking buying shit package featuring games that cannot be played on switch through any other methodologies games that you would need to buy older consoles and older copies in order to access this is why people turn to emulation to jailbreaking to piracy because nintendo isn't making it easy for people to access those older games on modern consoles. And why do you care? If Nintendo wants to make the decision, let them. It's their money they're losing. You generation with the five, I used to buy Mountain Dew before school, and I would sell it to people at school for a few dollars extra. 
That's what I used to do with Call of Duty. Like, my mom didn't give a fuck what games I could play. So, like, when I was in elementary school and middle school, I would go to, like, fucking GameStop and just buy, like, a bunch of M-rated games for people, and I would upcharge them, like, 10 to $20. So, like, if the game was $63 with tax or whatever, or 64 I would charge them, like, 75 or something like that. <laughs> and I would just get fucking dumb money. Just getting fucking money for doing nothing, basically. And it was great. I don't know. Like, I, I don't see a problem with that. Sashwa with the two. You need to watch Ma'am, I Do My Own Plumbing. No BS. All right, I'll look I it up, man. I will take a look. I can't afford this oh, wait. Shit. Wait, no, wait. I think I... Have I seen that? That sounds really familiar. I'll look it up anyway, but yeah, I'll take a look after the stream. Doobie McNasty with a 15, like I said, <laughs> capitalism is great. Yeah, fair enough, man. I'll take it. It's a good thing. So yeah, congrats. A big W right there. And so they're going to resort to other methods that can yield even better results than Nintendo's own ports. You can straight up play better looking versions of these games on Mario 3D All-Stars on emulators. Now people would buy Mario 3D All-Stars because it's the official way to play it on Switch, this portable console that allows you to take these games anywhere and very conveniently. And that's the selling point of games on Switch and of porting games over to Switch. But Nintendo's not fully leveraging that. And if anything, they're going out of their way. They're taking an extra step to do something that I think is harmful for their business and uh, that just isn't very consumer friendly. Nintendo, in this scenario, all you have to do is nothing. Remove the limitations, remove the whole March 31st time limit, and just let this game be. Nintendo gets money from customers. Customers can continue to buy this game. It mitigates scalping situations. And it straight up helps game preservation, which Nintendo has been awful at. It's so ironic that... How does this help game preservation? <laughs> it's still only playable on the Switch. So if it's only playable on the Switch, it has nothing to do with game preservation. That makes no fucking sense. There's 8 million copies out there. It's probably going to be fine. Nintendo is so proactive about taking down emulation and ROM websites, but they're the ones who are encouraging this type of thing by being so restrictive in the way they sell their games. People are gonna- And that's fucking their prerogative. If they don't want your money, why the fuck are you gonna beg them to take it? <laughs> like, I don't fucking get it. Are you, like, literally asking Nintendo to charge you for this? Like, I don't fucking know, man. Like, why are you so worried about Nintendo's financials? If they're not worried about it, you shouldn't be worried about it. That's the way I look at it when it comes to a company making money. You know, unless I'm, like, some fucking major shareholder, I don't give a shit. And that's just the way it should be. At that point, you're just, like, a fucking shill. Like, please, Nintendo, make more money. Nintendo doesn't care. Exactly. They don't give a shit. Socialism is for figs with the five. I just got the Valve Index and OMG. It is worth it alone for Half-Life Alex, but I found a mod for Half-Life or for Halo 3 and VR for Pavlov, and it's epic. Dude, I want to get an index eventually. I just, for a thousand bucks, I don't know. I just don't know if I'd use it enough. That's the problem. I had a um, Oculus and I barely ever touched it, but maybe I'll check it out. I mean, I'll probably bite the bullet eventually and get one. Just consume product and be excited for next product. That's right, man. It's the best way to live. Just they don't consume. want to jailbreak their Switches or download Switch emulators and a ROM of Mario 3D All-Stars after March 31st because a lot of those people who maybe haven't bought a Switch yet or who haven't bought the game yet on an official capacity will no longer have access to buy this game after that date. And not to mention that Mario 3D All-Stars deadline isn't prominently advertised. And so... It's not prominently advertised? Are you fucking... Where was it?
<laughs> it's not prominently advertised. Guys, it's not prominently advertised on their own fucking website for it. You know, the big fucking bold letters on the home page? Not prominently advertised enough for... Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I swear to God, dude. This guy cannot be fucking real. He literally cannot be fucking real. <laughs> like, what? This is literally so fucking retarded, man. I, I just don't even know. Do something that I think is harmful for their business and uh, that just isn't very consumer friendly. Nintendo, in this scenario, all you have to do is nothing. Remove the limitations, remove the whole March 31st time limit, and just let this game be. Nintendo gets money from customers. Customers can continue to buy this game. It mitigates scalping situations, and it straight up helps game preservation, which Nintendo oh, has been doing by being so restrictive. People who maybe haven't bought a Switch yet or who haven't bought the game yet on an official capacity will no longer have access to buy this game after that date and not to mention that Mario 3D All-Stars deadline isn't prominently advertised here it is and so plenty of people not who don't follow advertised. game big fucking bold letters on their website news you know they're not going to have any clue about this and they might end up getting locked out it's going to be a lot of people i think a lot of potential customers who are going to get locked out of the simple process of buying this game that should be simple if Nintendo would just let it be. You want people to stay away from emulators and ROMs and buy your games officially? Then encourage them to do so by offering a better service, a better business model, a better way of doing things. Or at least that's one man's take. I just cannot wrap my head around this. Right at the 10 minute mark, he fucking wraps. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Socialism is for figs with a five. Yong moved to Cali for voice acting. Little did he know he could do that from anywhere in the world. He is a commie. I'm pretty sure he is actually like unironically a communist. Or at least like a fucking socialist or whatever he claims to be. I don't know. Which is really ironic considering he's sitting here begging for money online. Bruh. Spore hacker with the two. It's their money, their choice. I mean, that's the thing. If, like, Nintendo doesn't want to fucking make money from this shit, why are you going to fucking beg them to? I don't know. That's like helping someone that doesn't want to help themselves. Like, just don't. Just fucking let it go. It's not your problem. Spore hacker with a five. I'm surprised that Yong doesn't even know the difference between through and until. And I'm not from the USA. Yeah, I know. It's sad. Yong, yeah. Super Mario 3D All-Star situation. But let me know in the comments below if you have some inkling as to why Nintendo is doing this. If you think there's a good reason for this, because I cannot think of any. And just share your general thoughts in the comments below. And to be further updated on all things gaming news, news reviews, reviews, and, and discussions, discussions, stay tuned right here on Young Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Young out. <sighs> Cringe. All right, let's watch Big Man Gamers. We need a palate cleanser. All right, man. Let's watch some real gaming content here. This is some real shit. Real fucking content. I've been chiefing with the three. I can't be a socialist. I'm antisocial. Young Wheezy, bruh. <laughs> Damn. The bars. Yeah, gamer. That's right. Ripping with the curated content set. facts. He added the shit up top. Like and subscribe.
What's up guys, Big Man Gamers here with another video, but before we get into the video guys, make sure to smash the like button, hit subscribe, share this video, all that good stuff guys, and I want to give a shout out to all my subscribers, I can't believe how fast the channel is growing, and it's all thanks to you, you all rock, and don't you ever forget <laughs> that guys. Now, with all that said, let's get into the video. PC fanboys just don't know when to call it quits. They always say how better more I love how he always uses these fucking um like pre-rendered trailers and shit in the background, like never any gameplay whatsoever. Except when he takes mine. To call it quits, they always say how better my PC is. Every YouTube comment section is infested with them. My PC is better than console. Imagine playing on console. Mouse and keyboard is better than a controller. And yet, the PC platform keeps being destroyed by PlayStation. <laughs> the PC Master Race fanboy poor beggars think it's a huge victory when they get all old exclusives years after release. PlayStation games are- Dude, I have to imagine like he's in fucking pain when he's talking like this for an extended period of time. Like, this shit cannot be comfortable at all. I don't know how the fuck he makes this voice. Special Force 117 with the two exclusives. That's right, man. Gotta love them. Digital Demonic Davros with the two whose nuts are in his mouth. I wish they were mine. Like, not even a joke. But just movie games and walking simulators. Why play Marvel Spider-Man when you can play Mass Effect Andromeda? But when Sony buckles under the pressure of their sad port begging and give them our old exclusives, they think they've defeated PlayStation, and they think all future exclusives are coming to my PC day one, and think Sony are going to add in loot boxes for all future exclusives to appeal to PC gamers. But I've got news for you, PC fanboys. You're dead! Dude, the fucking mic rape. <laughs> like, that shit, you can feel it, dude. So Logan M with the two, he is hamming it up. He definitely knows. Wait, he definitely knows. Wait, definitely knows. Wait, why the fuck can I not read this? He definitely knows you know he troll. Oh, definitely. 100%. Like, it's very obvious. I don't know why the fuck I could not read that, dude. I'm having like a fucking boomer moment or some shit. I don't know. Doobie McNasty with a 15. There's no way this guy has subscribers. I don't know, man. This is like the best fanboy content on YouTube, unironically. He has better points than most of the PlayStation fanboys by far. Agent Nibbles with a 5. I wish JTEG doesn't immediately copyright strike his dumbest stream moments uploaded by others. You hear him calling criticism racism. Shake my head. Yeah, I, I can believe it. JTEG is pretty fucking petty. For sure. Absolutely. Manny team with the two. Sounds like he had a stroke. Probably. Who knows, man? Or Big Man Gamers is just so fucking epic, it doesn't even matter. He's just born with the voice of a god. <laughs> Plant Lord with the two. Young, yeah, fam versus Dreamcast guy enjoyer. That's right. Imagine being a Young, yeah, fan and not a Dreamcast guy enjoyer. Couldn't it be me. Alibaba with the 10. Uh, I play in 21 by 9 ultra wide. Next gen were DOA for me. I've never really tried ultra wide. I don't really think I would like it too much because I need to record in 16 by 9 for YouTube. But I don't know. Maybe I'll try it one day. But for me personally, I'd rather have like the three separate monitors than like a massive ultra wide display. I've got news for you, PC fanboys. You're dead wrong. 
Jesus, what dude, that fucking ear rape. Having to wait years to play PlayStation games. Having to wait years for our sloppy seconds. Our old ass exclusives we all completed years ago. For all their seconds. constant complaining and poor begging, they only have three games to show for it. So sad. So sad indeed. This is why PC fanboys want our all games to come to <laughs> my PC. Because they have no games, no exclusives, not like us PlayStation fans. We have tons of games and even more exclusives, and with so much more to come. But PC has no games, and that's why they're so mad they are jealous of PS5. Right. And then you see the kind of games PC players play. Pew! They look like the kind of thing you download for free on a mobile shit. phone and then delete after 20 minutes after getting bored with all the ads and microtransactions. But that's what they want. They love microtransactions and in game ads. PC fanboys are just glorified mobile gamers. <laughs> that's right, man. We're fucking playing on cell phones and shit. You know, the truth has come out at this point. It's just so sad. You know, we've been truly exposed in this moment. So, you generation with the five, sorry for trying to catch you lacking. I just think it's funny. It's cool, man. I'm just I'm not going to throw myself under the bus. But, yeah, it's cool. I mean, you can I try to catch me lacking. It's fine. But, you know, it'd be like that. Doobie McNasty with the 20. I need my refund. That was worse than Superman 64. That's pretty fucking bad. I don't know, man. There's no refunds. At least on brain cells when watching these fucking videos. That's for sure. <laughs> God damn. Agent Nibbles with the 2. Do you have one of those three monitors on vertical? No, I don't. All of them are horizontal. I tried to do it vertical, but it just looked way too fucking weird for me. Like, I could not get used to it. Alibaba with the 10. I can't afford Google this shit! Yama G Master. What the fuck? Dude, I have no idea what that is. I'm not familiar with that brand at all. So your guess is as good as mine. But, I mean, I can look it up. Let me see. Um, hopefully that's what the fuck. Yeah, I have no idea, man. Is that like your monitor? Yeah, I can see the twenty-one by nine version. But yeah, I'm not familiar with that brand at all. So, Special Force 117 with the two. We just love microtransactions exposed. I do love me a good loot box, that's for sure. PC gamers just love to hate on PlayStation for no reason. Just because they have no games and inferior hardware in comparison to PlayStation. Just like their cousins, the Xbox. But they have no games to back it up. All they play are games like COD and PUBG, mindless Battle Royale games filled with loot boxes PC gamers just love so much. All they do we is do. buy in-game monetization from the Epic Game Store. <laughs> PC fanboys. Do we make nasty with the 15? Stop. We got another video after this one, man. <laughs> There's another one after this. So, Alibaba with a 10, 144 hertz, free sync, flat, or curved, slat, equals cursed, ultra wide. Oh, so you like flats, not curved. I mean, honestly, I like my curved monitor. I have the um, Samsung G7 32 inch. It's curved, and personally, I kind of like it. I think it looks really cool. I don't know, I guess it's just personal preference. I just love their precious epic game store. Almost as much as games like Apex Legends and Anthem and Trash Talking PlayStation. PC fanboys are like Xbox on Anthem. steroids. 
if Sony keep releasing PlayStation games on PC, who knows what could happen to them. They might even start giving them remastered PS2 graphics and the Soul Popper effect and loading them with loot boxes and microtransactions, all to appeal to PC gamers. But keep complaining, PC fanboys, and you might even just get Returnal by 2025. <laughs> Nobody wants fucking Returnal. And that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And until next time, I will see you all in the next video. Big Man Gamers, out! Alright man, next video. <laughs> next fucking video. Juavi2312 with the two. How the fuck is this more entertaining than Yong Yeah? Dude, anything is more entertaining than Yong Yeah for sure. But Big Man Gamers puts out some top tier quality content, set. that's for sure. Alibaba with the 10. I need flat for art slash game design and watching movies. Fair enough. I mean, that makes sense. Especially if you're using it as like a TV and you're like sitting back from your desk. Yeah, I get that. What's up, guys? Big Man Gamers here, back with a. Is he in his fucking bathroom, dude? What is this echo? Another video. But before we start the video, guys, make sure to smash the like button, hit subscribe, share this video, all that good stuff. And I want to give a shout out to all my subscribers, new and old. You guys are awesome, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. So, <laughs> Dude, he's recording this set, while taking his shit. Let's get into the video, guys. Now, we all know by now that the Fallout series is now in the hands of Microsoft, following in their purchase of ZeniMax and by extension the the Fallout, Bethesda dude. and the Fallout series. Microsoft knowing they are being destroyed by PlayStation and buying Bethesda out of sheer desperation to try and turn around their dwindling market share in the gaming industry. Buying the Fallout series for seven and a half Billion dollars. This just shows how fucking desperate. burning money, bro. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The Manny team in the two bathroom. Room talk, lol. Dude, I know. It's like he's like sitting in his bathroom on the toilet, like just shouting. And it's like f fucking echoing. I don't get it. Microsoft really are, and that the Xbox brand has been on the ropes for nearly a decade. And it looks. Doobie McNasty with a 15, you're killing me, Smalls. I'm sorry, man. This is the top quality content that these streams are known for. Like, Big Man Gamers puts out consistently amazing content every single time. Looks like Fallout is going to be an Xbox exclusive from now on. This is indeed sad news for gamers everywhere, as we all remember the last Fallout game they made to try and appeal to the Xbox and PC markets. And I'm talking about Fallout 76, with them ditching Fallout's traditional single-player story, quests, and the series' incredible lore and world-building. Ditching all of that to make an online co-op looter shooter loaded with loot boxes and microtransactions, all to try and appeal to Xbox and PC gamers. This just shows how bad third-party exclusivity is, with Fallout fans now being forced to buy an Xbox, even if you don't shit. want one, and let's- <laughs> Dude, he's bitching about being forced to go out and buy a console even if you don't want one, but if Sony does it, eh, it's all good. You know, it do be like that. Alibaba with the 10, the Iyama is the goaded ultrawide, 100% recommend. I mean, if I'm ever looking for an ultrawide, I'll take a look at it, but honestly, for me, ultrawide I don't really think would fit. Like, if they, I don't even know if I'd use it then. 
I don't know. I'll probably look into it maybe like it is a secondary setup, but probably my main one. I'll probably just keep this G7 for sure. So Special Force 117 with the two. He's in the toilet because of his wife's boyfriend. Fact. I can't afford this shit. Maybe. Or it's because he's hiding his multiple fucking like concubines or whatever from his wife. Who knows, dude? Big man gamers could just be fucking mad chicks. Or he's hiding from the husband of his girlfriend. Who knows? So Ace of Spades with a five. Everyone stop interrupting Griffin so I can hear the best YouTuber, Big Man Gamers, talk about my PC and then hear Griffin try to prove him wrong. That's right. I'll make my best attempt, but no promises. Logan M with the two. This is the Big Man Gamers Olive Garden <laughs> bathroom experience. That's right. Sucking dick at Olive Garden. Dial 1-800-Harbinger with the five. I actually subscribe to Big Man Gaming. He's so unironically funny. I agree, man. He puts out some very quality shit. shit. These videos are typically very entertaining. Jonathan Perez with the two. Has this guy never actually played a game on video? He has not. The only gameplay he's ever shown is from my video that he took. So, yeah. But, yeah, no gameplay whatsoever. He just, like, uses trailer footage. Be honest. Who... So, Crispy Lizard with a 2, YouTube not even letting me donate Homo Sapien. Damn. Well, I mean, it worked this time. Oh, you mean the word Homo Sapien. Gotcha. Yeah, dude, you may be, you may be calling someone a homo, which is not, like, the fucking politically correct shit. term, so... I don't know, man. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Does one one? No one except Xbox fanboys. Now Fallout is gonna be used by Microsoft as a gateway drug to lure a gateway drug. <laughs> a fucking gateway drug to the fucking Xbox. Or however the fuck he says that shit, dude. My voice is like really fucked up right now. I can't even like replicate his pure glory. Into the Xbox a fucking ecosystem to get them hooked on loot boxes, Game Pass, and Xbox fanboy games like Minecraft and PUBG. What is the point of even having Fallout on Xbox? Only PlayStation fans can understand and appreciate the story and lore, and finding <laughs> notes and logs on terminals that ping a picture of past events and giving you an insight into the fact. That's right, only on the glorious PlayStation can you appreciate Fallout. They We don't possess the IQ on PC and Xbox to understand... A story as complex as Fallout, dude. You know, we are not worthy. We have to ascend to being PlayStation gamers to understand and appreciate it. Fascinating world of the Fallout universe. But Xbox don't even look for that stuff. They just run past it all so they can shoot every NPC. Xbox fanboys don't even do the quests after leaving the vault. They just run around shooting everyone else, <laughs> friendly or not, just like they are in a COD multiplayer match. That's what they do. After they leave the vault in Fallout 3, they just go straight to Megaton, run around in circles, jumping up and down, saying, Ma 360 no scope, and shoot every NPC cat. Ma 360 no scope. <laughs> Jesus Christ. K3 Saboy with the two. Ma Game Pass. Ma Microtransactions. Ma V Bucks. I can't afford this. What was shit. the other one he did? Shit. I can't afford this Fuck, shit. I can't think of it. Dude, this is how you know it's getting late. I can't fucking remember shit. How long is it? Four hours and 30 minutes? Shit, dude. It's been a long ass stream. Doobie McNasty with the 15. Stop. <laughs> We're like halfway through this video, man. We're almost done. Just you wait. After. Then they just run around the wasteland doing that for a few hours until they get bored and go back to COD. And they also wonder why there was no lobby before the game started. And they don't understand why the NPC character. We don't understand why there isn't a fucking lobby <laughs> when you start the camp. 
Instead of attacking you on site and wondering why there are no other players and why camping doesn't get them any more kills. Bethesda have always been kissing Microsoft, but they've always been Xbox fanboys since Fallout 3, <laughs> giving timed exclusive DLC to Xbox and only advertising the game for Xbox. Look here at the end of the Fallout 3 and New Vegas trailers. Xbox and PC are first and PS3 is last. Just a coincidence you say? Well, let's take a look at the end of the Fallout 4 trailer. Oh look, they put the Xbox at the front, obscuring the PS4 box. Interesting. <laughs> they obscure the fucking PS4 box. Jesus Christ. Y'all and Kales of the Five, my God Howard, my Gateway Drug, False Economy, my Oh Baby a Triple, my 360 No Scope, my Missing Multiplayer <laughs> fucking Lobby. Jesus Christ, dude. Big Man Gamers is a legend. Of, he's like a fucking god among men. What am I talking about? He's beyond a I legend. Can't afford this shit! Logan M with a two, no BS. This is his masterwork. I can't I'm legit shit. laughing. Yeah, this one's actually really good. I like this shit a lot. Matt with the five, do more videos on amazing Lucas fanboy tendencies. Has he uploaded anything recently? Fuck, dude. I'm like getting really tired. Like, the only thing I've seen amazing Lucas upload recently is like political videos, which I'm not touching. Like, I'm not getting involved in fucking pol politics at all, but maybe. I don't know. We'll see. If he uploads like gaming content, then maybe I'll take a look at it. Uh, William Barton with a two Q non game edition. <laughs> Bruh. I can't afford this shit! That's right. I can't Believe. afford this shit! Man, this is super. I agree, man. This is some quality shit. And then, if there was still any doubt, the Fallout 76 trailer. Only Xbox and no PlayStation. And they only released the beta for Xbox, even though PS4 has a much larger user base. And you think that PlayStation will give you a broader review of the player base and more accurate beta testing results? No, it has to be only no. for their precious Xbox and not for PS4. Because Bethesda is run by Xbox fanboys who hate PlayStation. Maybe that's why nothing ever gets fixed in Bethesda games, because their beta testing is all done by Xbox fanboys who don't even do the quests or try and progress through the game, but just shoot every character they see and scream obscenities at them through their headset, even though it's a single player game. That's why they made 76 multiplayer, to appease the Xbox who think every game has to be like COD and Anthem. And That's right. why am I not- Dude, we want every single video game to be like Call of Duty and Anthem. Absolutely. That sounds great. So, Dominic the Donkey with the 5 figure fan, if you haven't checked it out, see Amazing Lucas's reaction to Southpaw's call? During his stream, it's really funny. Do you have like a timestamp or something I can check out? Cause it was was it from tonight? If so, like I'll definitely check it out. Like post it in Discord if you can find one. If not, I'll like skim through it. Thomas, oh shit, I'm gonna butcher this. Pit touch. Again, man, I'm sorry if I butchered that, but I appreciate the CZK fifty. Just trying out. Enjoy two dollars and check crowns. R, wait, what do you mean R? But I appreciate it, man. Regardless. I can't afford this shit. Hopefully, I didn't butcher that your name, but yeah, I appreciate it, man. Not surprised. They look at Southpaw's Twitter. He has a clip of it. All right, I'll take a look. They made a battle royale mode and made made a paid subscription service because that's all Xbox found. Apparently, Fallout 76 is actually pretty good right now. Maybe I'll go back to it. What? 
We all know how much of an Xbox fanboy Todd Howard is. That's why he ruined Fallout on purpose to try and appeal to Xbox fanboys. This really makes you think. Did they purposely make the PlayStation versions game to launch just yeah. so Xbox fanboys could say Absolutely. Digital Foundry said Fallout is better on Xbox. Now, is this just because of incompetence or are they biased? They probably make Fallout games glitchy on purpose, breaking the game and ruining the immersion and enjoyment us PlayStation fans get from games just to amuse the Xbox. Hoo <laughs> look at that funny glitch lol. Xbox. What the fuck? So, crappy post of the two, I liked Ancient Gods Part 2 and it wasn't that bad. Awesome man, happy to hear it. I need to get to it eventually. And PC fanboys love Fallout 76 and think that every future Fallout game should be the same. And with Xbox owning Bethesda and the Fallout series being Xbox and PC exclusive, that is exactly what is going to happen. But what do you guys think? <laughs> Let's <laughs> not in the my Fallout. And make sure to Jesus smash the like Christ, button, bro. hit subscribe, share this video, all that good stuff, guys. What the fuck, Until man. next time, Big Man Gamers <laughs> out. Oh my god, dude. This is actually a really good video. I like this one a lot. What is the like to dislike ratio? Dude, why is it like so negatively disliked? <laughs> what the fuck? Why are people actually disliking these? I don't know, man. <laughs> these are so fucking obvious. Like, literally, there are people, like, in my comment section. Whenever I make a video on Big Man Gamers, they're like, I don't think this guy's serious. I think he's a troll. It's like... Are you fucking kidding me? No shit. Like, hold on. Let me go to my most recent video on this guy. I'm pulling it up on my phone. I think the top comment is literally someone doing exactly what I just described. I so, Morris first. Shit. Let's do top comments. Where is it? Is it gone? Maybe he deleted it because he realized how fucking stupid it was. Yeah, now I can't find it. Shit. Sorry to get your hopes up, guys. I'm very sorry, but it was like some dude saying, I don't think this is a very constructive conversation. It's obvious that this dude is just trolling. It's like, who the fuck cares, man? It's like... I don't know. <laughs> it's like you can't just have fun with a video, I guess. James with the two broken English synthetic man doing response video. Is it like 20 minutes or something? Because if so, I'm probably, I don't know. I'm probably going to call it a night for tonight, guys. Because it's been like, what? Almost, yeah, four and a half hours. I'm honestly tired. I'm probably going to go to sleep after this shit. Because, I don't know. I'm just kind of feeling tired tonight. But we can watch it. Hold on. Where's my notepad? I will write it down. For one of the videos we will watch the next stream probably tomorrow or something i don't know but yeah i'm probably gonna call it for tonight dude i'm like tired at this point